I see it going. Hey, everyone. Hi, Christian. Hey, Eric. How are you? Good. So we've also got, uh, as you can see, we've got James Labaki uh, in Word and hopefully soon in Deed. Uh, with us today, we're going to be playing with Packet.net, but while he sorts through uh, various live streaming webcam type issues, we will uh, we will just kind of have a chat about random things. Uh, let us, yeah, we were just uh, talking about compiling kernels because I because you brought up the camera and it's like, well, at least maybe he has to recompile the kernel to see his camera. Yeah, right. Uh, yes, yeah, so talking about recompile, um, and so Chris Short will uh, will be able to chime in on this. Um, so the the Fedora RPM Fusion version of OBS, but also the Flatpak version, neither of them for some reason ship with the browser plugin, which now is part of OBS, which is the streaming oh, nice. tool we use yeah. as a version 25. And so I spent the afternoon the other day like trying to build my own RPM, which actually works great. <laughs> until you try and touch a media source and then it crashes and it's just nice right. <laughs> so i need to uh i need to spend some more time doing that but if anybody out there in uh in twitchiverse wants to um rpm package a uh, fedora-esque version of obs we will gladly um contribute to said project oh yeah definitely yeah definitely Especially yeah, the i'm sure pack. it's some yeah huh? go ahead well, especially the flat packs, since I just I've, I've been using a lot more flat packs as of late, trying to, um, just because it's just easier. I don't have to worry about uh, RPMs and dependencies and whatnot. So I I kicked I kicked one of James's James out because he was in twice, and oh. now it's saying it won't let him. Uh, it's saying it won't let him join. So I'm um, oh, am I sharing the the actual part of the Zoom window? with the chat oh yeah i am oh, that's all right uh, i'm trying to figure out how to um allow him to come back in now that i've accidentally kicked him out <laughs> yeah you accidentally kicked him out so <laughs> uh so hopefully oh. we'll be able to let him back yeah. in otherwise it's going to be this is going to be real interesting slash exciting we may have to close this meeting and then restart it but that's okay um but yeah, oh, so the flat pack thing, I, I looked into that too, and uh -huh. they were saying that um, the flat pack people were saying that it's like something weird about. Um, so the browser for OBS uses um, CEF. Ugh, it says he can't get back in. All right, so I'm going to kill this Zoom meeting and then restart it. So, Christian, I'll see Fun you back times. here in a second. All right, yeah, we'll be oh, right back gosh. then. <laughs> All right, we'll be, we'll be back momentarily, folks. Yes. Uh, so let's see, we are going to do, we'll switch to the break scene. Yeah, the break. break scene. We'll take a break.
Hey, we got three heads now. This is great. James nice. is here. Say hi, James. Hello. Hi, James. Say hi, Christian. Hey, hello, hello. All right. So now that we're all back-ish, sort of, kind of, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to play with some bare metal open sh Oh, I probably should get rid of my work grave here. Uh, mode suspended. We're going to do some bare metal open shift. And we're going to do it using uh, bare metal servers from packet.net. And so this, the, the OpenShift 4 installer does a lot of fully automated things. Um, and we're working on sort of a, a fully automated bare metal provisioning solution as well. That's, that's coming down the pipe. But um, we have this sort of manual installation process that you can do as well. Uh, and generally speaking for bare metal, that's what you would do. You would follow this manual installation process. Even though packet.net is technically a cloud uh, and it's technically a, a bare metal cloud where you have an API that you can get infrastructure resources from, um, we're not tying into that in any way. So the OpenShift 4 installation today doesn't know anything about packet. Um, they're not on our short-term roadmap, um, but James has actually, so spoiler alert, this does work. Um, and James has done it before. Now, this is live, so of course we're going to completely hose it uh, in real time and, and recover, I think, maybe. But um, the goal essentially is to go through the steps that James had done before and maybe actually try and automate some of the things that he's doing, you know, do some live Ansible or something like that. I don't know. We, we, we'll get crazy. It's Friday. Um, I don't have a beverage. Uh, I mean, I have a, a regular standard water beverage. Standard water, yeah. Well, technically, it's not even standard <laughs> water. It's got collagen in it because, you know, I'm oh, old and yeah. I can take care of my joints. The but joints, anyway, joints are important. Joints it's are important. important. Yeah, yeah, it's important. Yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> like, like they, you know, similar analogy would be, uh, you know, if there's no hoof, there's no horse. So if yes, there's, yeah, if there's exactly, no yeah. joints, there's no person. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So enough of me yakking away. Um, yeah, jello James, water. I guess, so jello water. No, it, yeah. it, it, it only <laughs> turns into jello water if you use cold water. If you oh. use room temperature water, um like out of the tap uh it's fine it doesn't turn into jello uh and it really doesn't taste like anything like you you kind of don't really notice that there's stuff in there but anyway we're not here to talk about collagen supplements we're here to talk about open shift uh and so james i guess if you want to share your screen um, yeah that's that's the first test of the day huh the first test of the day first task of the day is share the screen see oh, what happens looks, looks right. good so far I see. I see your screen being shared. I'm gonna make our heads a little smaller here. That's fair. I'll try to. There we go. There we go. Splitting the screen. So I like ooh, it. okay. So for sure, you're gonna to have to make your text like way bigger. Okay. How's that on the, on the, or should I just do one screen and flip back and forth? I would probably just forth? do one one screen at a time, but still make okay. it bigger, even even bigger still. Yeah, that's go. fair. Nice. Because our heads are somewhere. I will try. There we go. Is that okay. good? Uh, that's probably good. Let's let, we'll let our viewers let us know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you and can't just, see it. Just, raise your hand. Yeah. Apologies in advance. <laughs> At some point, my laptop will decide to do something awful. Um, and so we will lose several frames. But I will do my best to not do anything else while that's going on. So anyway, uh, take us away, Mr. James. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. And uh, and and so um, I'm glad I have your help, so you can um, help me as I make a bunch of mistakes. Uh, so pair programming um, at its finest. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Or, or at its worst, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Sysadmins would never do that. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Chaos. Maybe they should. Up. Maybe yeah. sysadmins should pair admin. Oh, I just got to follow. I don't know who it was. Um, all right. So uh, real quick. Um, so what what I wanted to do was walk through uh, deploying. Um, uh, OpenShift. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stick with OpenShift 4.3. I know 4.4 is out, but uh, I did this with 4.3. I'm assuming it would work with 4.4, but I'm not gonna test it live. Oh, today. no, no. Um, that's too. So, that's too. That's too much testing for a live Friday stream. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna uh, do know, it with 4.4. We've already got one person saying so, we should. All right. You know what, James? No, we're gonna do it with 4.4. So here's four, what we're four. gonna do. Um, so <laughs> so we're, I'm gonna use AWS Route 53 for DNS. I know that pains Christian. From what I understand, he's a big yes. DNS dude. Fan. Christian loves DNS. <laughs> I'm um, a DNS purist. For the, for those yeah. of you anywhere on the internet, if you have a DNS problem, you should send it to Christian. Yes, exactly. He, <laughs> he loves DNS. Um, 
All right, and and you could recite all the uh, all the things you're not supposed to do in, in domain names um, while right. we go through this. By um, the way, we so... now have two people clamoring for us to try OpenShift 4.4, so we may oh, we shoot. may have to do um... <laughs> we may have to do some <laughs> runtime uh, run, uh, or uh, Audible playtime Audible. Play. Yeah, we do an Audible. Yeah, call an Audible. Do they do both of them work at our competitors? Um, or yeah, is this, uh... <laughs> uh, okay, fine, so this is this is all about trial and and, and trial uh, and error. Yeah. All right, so here's what you should know. So you've got um, uh, I'll be using Route 53 for DNS. Do um, a slide. I no, I don't. No, it's, it's, can you make a slide on the fly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. it can be. Ugly yeah, make a slide in. as. <laughs> all right. Um. Uh, so then what we'll do is uh that that then we'll provision a bunch of servers on packet.net. That this is uh, so so route. I have Route 53 here. I have a hosted zone. Um, let me make this bigger. Sorry. Yes, please. There we um, go. At least two hundred percent. Yeah. If you're if if you think you can't see it from the back of your own room, it's probably too small. <laughs> All right. So this is on on my uh, my DNS setup here on Route fifty three. So I'm I'm being lazy. I'm not going to use them for. I'm not going to set up my own bind server. But I am going to set up everything else essentially. Um, so what uh, are um, these what are these records for? Uh, these records are going to be for. Um, uh, uh, everything in my OpenShift cluster. Okay. So, well, um, so really, no way. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, you sure. Wow. What what a novel idea. <laughs> well, hey, you, you, <laughs> hey, you ask a stupid question, you get a, yeah, you get a stupid is. answer. Well, I, I, I asked I'm a non-specific question, I'm so kidding, okay, so, I so, accept so, your yeah. answer. So, <laughs> so you have uh, M0 and M1 are going to be the, the the IP addresses for the master nodes. M M or M0, M1, M2, and then we're okay. going to have two workers: worker one, worker two. And then you know you have C names for etcd, so you know where to find things. All your apps, uh, you have a wildcard here, uh, you know, uh, entry for any of your apps, uh, basically to get forwarded to what's going to be the HA proxies. Um, so that's for then, for application ingress. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, and then uh, and then yeah, and then you just have the uh, you know the um, regular old uh, when when someone goes to uh, hit the API of my cluster, it's going to know uh, where to find those as well. So Okay. And so that's uh, going to be, I guess, like records. a load balancer that's going to sit yeah. in front of the masters? Yeah, exactly. I'm going to have HA proxy running on like a helper uh, node. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll make like a helper node that's going to right. think, export NFS, if I remember correctly, uh, do HA proxy um, and handle a couple of other things. I'm trying to think what else was on there. Not okay, and so when you say yeah. HA proxy on the helper node, what you're talking about is the yeah. HA proxy binary like RPM that we ship with RHEL. Oh, there it goes. Hang on. I know. I think it's Eric. Yeah, Eric is. It is. Eric's, no, I told Eric's you it was going to happen. Right before our eyes. All right, we're oh. back. So, so oh, when there you we say, go. There we go. When you say HA proxy, you're talking about the RPM that ships with RHEL. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to install that straight away on there and configure it. So, um, yeah, and then so, um, yeah, so I know I I note that you have for your for your wildcard DNS, um, you have two two entries, right? So I guess you're round robining between the the two workers. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Yeah. Um, and so you you might ask yourself, well, how do you know what the IP addresses of these are? ahead of time and the answer is i don't i'm gonna to have to go change them after i kick off the actual provisioning and i get and i get ips if only um, we could automate this with so you you could and uh in fact there is a there is actually a terraform um uh there's some terraform and ansible that the openshift engineering team at red hat has written to uh, do this so Ansible, it's like a you know both terraform and ansible i think leverage together to deploy all the servers on packet and get this up and running but then you wouldn't have the fun of watching us do it. So. True, yeah. Um, yeah you'd have the, well, but you the, know, the paints, the we were we were thinking but, potentially yeah. about uh, us doing it. So, but anyway, let's let's move along, and then maybe Christian, <laughs> right. uh, you can we'll switch to you, and you can try and re redo some of the steps here. Nice. Yeah, I do have a packet right, account. So. I can send you some access info in the background, Christian. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do it live. Just send just put it on the screen. Everyone can have it. No, no. <laughs> All right, so let me let me start off by um, so we'll we'll deploy one uh, small instance in packet, and we'll configure HA proxy, um, NFS, and Apache on it to start, and then um, we'll put the OpenShift binaries on there too, and we'll create like the manifests, the ignition files, all that stuff you need to start the OpenShift installation process. Then we'll go deploy a Bootstrap node, um, which is something that you need uh, to uh, 
that you need to deploy OpenShift. And then we'll deploy the masters and the workers. We'll probably use like uh, small instances, I think, for those, if I remember correctly. And then um, we'll wait for everything to deploy. So we'll cross our fingers and maybe that's a good chance to, to get a coffee or a water. And then um, and then we'll log in and uh, you know make sure the cluster is running. Sounds Sweet. Good. Sounds um, beautiful. Sounds like an agenda. Sounds promising. All right. Yes. Uh, I hope you guys don't have plans tonight. So um, we're doing this on ARM, so right? I'm just... <laughs> on ARM, yeah. Let's do. <laughs> okay. No, not, um, not. Four four would be scary enough. All right. So we'll let's. Well, uh... Spoiler alert! It won't work on ARM. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I know. I know. Um, so let me. Uh... Oh wait, they added some new instances here. I was going to. Oh, see... look at that. Um, I just want to. I was going to do this in Newark, but. Is Newark gone now? Well, Newark. Click North America. Yeah, but there. Well, he uh, clicked maybe, on all. Yeah. Yeah, you would but think maybe Newark it, would be it, considered it, under all. It might be because of what I'm, what I have selected over here. So. Um, oh, who knows? Uh, let me see. I wanted to just do a custom eye pixie. So. Oh, Jesus. Let's really? see. Wow. Okay. Oh no, no, sorry, sorry, no. I want to do rel. <laughs> sorry, you're right. I want to do a rel seven here. I was I like, wow, that's ambitious. Uh, it's ambitious, but it's it's okay. defaulted to eight. I guess it's got to be. I guess it's got to be Dallas. I I, I guess Newark. Um, I just like Newark, it because yeah. the airport. But we'll. Um, I don't know. What? You, someone likes someone likes the Newark airport. We. I think yeah. you're fired from this stream right now. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> airport is the worst. It's our greatest ever. chance at it's our, well, it's our it's, greatest chance at herd immunity. I guess. I guess <laughs> it's, it's better than it's better than Laguardia. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Par oh, so okay. uh, Parsippany is Newark, says somebody. Keeps elite. Says it's oh, okay. what you want. Oh, you know that's a, that's a you're right. EWR that's a good there branding you go. trick there. You so know yeah, it's yeah, funny they EWR they do one. what we do they use airport codes, but yeah. uh, it's the city. Thank you for that by the way. Yeah. yeah. For okay. Keeps. So Keebiz Leet. Thank you. Keeps Leet. Um. So let's do this. I'll hit deploy now. Um. And I don't think I forgot to do anything. So let's see. This is a very Your new uh, devices are queued for creation. This is very stressful. Why? Uh, okay, so basically, um, you can view the progress <laughs> of this. about making um, a mistake? Yeah, absolutely. But that's, uh, that's the process. Like, the, the journey is not about the that's destination. The, the journey, yeah it's, it, yeah, it's about the journey, not the destination. Uh, all right, so so my configure, you'll see here, you know, you could watch the process here. There's also a way to actually, uh, if you want to SSH and, and watch this thing boot, you could see that there. Um, Interesting. But, and I had previously set up my SSH keys in here, obviously, so. You have to do that if you didn't, but um, so this is booting. And what are we going to do while we kill time? We're going to kill time while we kill time. <laughs> you could pull up the uh, Ansible for packet, and we could look at the docs. Oh, yeah. Um, what do you think will come up here? Packet net guide. There's a guide. Well, that's good. No, I know there's a module. You could oh, you could export your API token pip, off stream pip and then try and it. try and do some of this stuff. Hmm. Looks like there's a lot of things you could do, uh, of which I will do none, and I will let Christian do them if he wants to. <laughs> yeah. All right. So so let's see. Let me um, get my packet key in the background here and see about sending it to Christian. It should. We can we can have a race, right? I can do it on my end. <laughs> well, no, I'm Didn't saying I already have an account. Like a, um, yeah, and so that. Well, I'm just saying. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I can do the Ansible playbook before. Oh, if you can, if you can write it faster <laughs> than James can do it while he's waiting yeah, for service. Yeah, yeah, do it manually. I yeah. don't. I don't think it'd be any different. Um, all right. So how do I go? I need an API. API keys. There we go. No API keys. Well, I guess well, I'll need one. Description. Christian. It's <laughs> the name of my API key. <laughs> Oh, how am I going to send this to you? Hmm. You can use Keybase. No, I just I don't want to open more <laughs> applications. Oh, more applications. <laughs> on my computer. <laughs> Very concerned with uh, with uh, with my laptop here. All so right. I have a question for James actually. So yeah, uh, since I, I I've actually never really used PacketNet. So what's so what's going on now is that it's it's just going out and just looking for an available available hardware. Yeah, I think so. It 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 basically 
pulls a piece of bare metal out for you and does all the provisioning for it. And you know, so I there's mentioned a, there's actually, a very a... small creature right now running around in a data. Yeah, center like, is there... in <laughs> so actually, I mentioned I mentioned how there was a um, you know the challenge of having to get the DNS. Uh, I'm sorry, having to get your IP addresses first from Packet and then plugging those into my DNS. Um, they actually started this pretty cool project uh, called Tinkerbell out there um, that is meant to be able to kind of do all of this and, <laughs> and automate it. A I like the name. Better, so. Yeah. Um, Tink. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're working on that, but. Um, if you uh, clap, so, does the server come faster? I don't know if anyone got that reference. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, yeah, and, so anyone on chat, a, let me know if you got the reference. We've got a question right. in the chat about, uh, is this first machine that you're provisioning the helper node? Yeah, it's basically going to be the the, um, the helper node. And then it's not the bootstrap node. So when I was first doing this, I didn't realize that you can actually we, need a whole I'm going to pause you for a second. Can we, yeah. can we add any more servers while we're waiting? So that we, we don't have could. to wait sequentially. Um, no, we can't actually because everything else we have to add, we have to custom iPixie, and we're going to host those iPixie files. Oh, off of this. okay. So we really do need this first. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. I don't know why I should have just provisioned it before we started. That's okay. Um, in hindsight, but hey, uh, magic. It, it, server network. I mean, interface it was only three minutes. I know. It just felt longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three minutes is a long time when you've got uh, well, yeah, several a lot of people watching, people watching you, yeah. you live. I know that's true. Um, and let me see. Do, do, do. So this will basically get configured. Um, and then we'll start it up and get in and start configuring NFS. And you could watch me add firewall commands. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> Packinet Ansible. So now I'm, I'm searching Packinet Ansible. And I'm going to see here. Do I have to do a pip install or is it, is Chris Short on the chat? Does he know if I can, um, Ansible doc, let's see if I have it installed. So uh, the module's called what? What is the module called? Uh, packet? Oh, it's packet dash Python. Packet. So I sent, uh, I sent Mod Christian an API key in the background for giggles, so. He's gonna, he's gonna. How do I list all the Ansible doc? Ansible doc dash. A. Hey, looks like list. I think the server is up. Oops. All right, I'm in on my rel seven server over here. Awesome. Okay. Nice. Look at that. So in so Newark. It's in Newark. Um, okay. So a couple things. I'm actually going to just provision some storage and attach it to it. Uh, there's some storage on it, but if you want to like, obviously not, this is a, this is completely unsupported deploying OpenShift on packet. I think as far as I know, like Eric said, this is well, more just it's, for fun. It's supported in the sense that these are bare metal systems running somewhere. So, yeah. you know, installing it and running it here is just fine. You, you will be supported running it on packet. Um, yeah in the sense that these are rel 7 or core os systems running on bare metal so we don't have any supported native integration that's that's the thing there's no red yeah, hat provided automation today so you know if packet had some weird object storage that you could use like that's you know we don't tie into anything that packet provides yeah. in the context of being a cloud provider um, yeah the, can, the, the ahead, fact sure. you say the fact that you're doing a bare metal upi install that means it is right. supported, right? Because that's supported. Yeah, yeah. 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 This so process just, we're doing is supported anywhere that RHEL seven runs. Yeah. Let me do a deploy a volume. So I just deployed a hundred gigabyte volume, and then I could go manage it. Um, I always forget how to attach it. Uh, storage actions, not clone, delete, snapshot schedules. I think you actually have to go back to the server and add it. So, so this go is back just to my storage server. space that you're going to attach to the existing server. I guess for NFS. Right. You need yeah, to exactly. I was just gonna. I was just gonna mount this eventually, and then um, uh, who knows if we'll get that far. But eventually, just mount this up. Oh, we got nothing but time, brother. We've only been going for twenty six minutes. Don't don't uh, wish it away. Yet. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> yeah. I, I was gonna ask. I didn't actually see when this ended. Is there an end? It, um, uh, there's time? never an end. It just kind of goes until oh. it fizzles out. <laughs> it goes goes until it reaches a natural conclusion. Nice. All right. So now <laughs> I've got that storage attached to here, right? <laughs> Um, when the fire and, starts uh, to smolder, that's when we. 
yeah when when we see smoke coming out of your brain we know that maybe we should we should end <laughs> i know um, all right so we'll go here so um let's just uh, uh let's let's get started here so i'm on my rel 7 machine so now what i want to do is i want to i want to add a couple of repos i think um like uh because this comes up much like oops oh comes really bare wait a second yum repo list maybe Yeah, this seven seven. Um, you might have to install config config manager. manager. I don't think that yeah, comes in. The... What provides? <laughs> what provides? It's as, what? as if, hey, yo, it's what as provides if that, that's you? the name of the command. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what provides do you have to yourself? Do like quote bash bin slash, or is it smart enough? Is it? Or is it? Or is it it's, yum it's, search? It's it's now no it's yum now provides smart is enough. fine, but I I don't yeah I don't know how much expansion it does on file names with provides okay i don't know i was an i was an rhc in in three uh so nice. in real three days <laughs> in so you guys three. you guys are going to be making fun of me the whole time this is pre this no. is pre hey man okay. i i got my i got all my certs on five i think Re got mine on on six so i'm kidding i think it was I'm a little five, newer <laughs> um all right Wait for this to finish here. Blah, 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 blah. But I, what, what Eric was saying, yeah, it's it's yum provides Quote, backslash star splat, slash, slash yeah. what bin splat, slash bin, no 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 sorry yeah. quote splat bin slash thing single quote yeah because if because then it does like expansion it does glob expansion of both bin and s bin um mm. and so Ooh. it may or may not find what you just asked it for. Okay. What do they call it? The the cheerleader, dash, why? right? No, Back. Just, no, dude, I don't know what you just wrote. There should be a way to cache this. Yeah, I think it's called Yum Fast Cache, but you need to go through it once at least. Yeah, I'm just saying, like on the. Oh, I guess it's not an image; it's laying down. It must be doing an install from, from packages when you boot. I don't know. Something just dinged at me, which makes me believe that I have. I do have something else open still uh -huh. i need to close that oh. here we go yeah free, free up some precious resources here for my well you can you can do a re-nice right re-nice dash 20 <laughs> negative yeah. 20. yeah zoom, for, zoom uh, is the most important for, thing. yeah zoom is most important than anything oh my gosh there's How many, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of stuff in real 7 these days I, and it's all i I, I i have no idea um so all I, yeah Yum well, it's because list, it hasn't we'll ever pulled any of the stuff yet, so it wants to make yeah, wants yeah. to validate its cache and blah blah blah. So, yum. What Look provides? No. Slash so there's yum there's, there's yeah, three that ways to do also. the same thing. Yeah. Pseudo DNF what provides whatever. Yep, that's another option. So if you're on the packet team and you're watching, if you could figure out how to run this after the install, um... do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, but then the, but then would the make, install it, would just it, take it, longer. It, like I mean. It's, yeah, it's true. It's that's true. true. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like, don't, don't make me wait, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Hooray, there you go. Oh, oh yum, yum utils. utils. Why did none of us know that? I bet a Google search wait, would yeah. have been Where's faster. It? Oh. <laughs> Google search would have been quicker, yeah. <laughs> but but I still ha I still would have had to go through that, right? Correct. Yeah, you'd have to get the cache. Uh, probably. All right. RPMDB altered outside of yum. Sounds like Packet does something as well. OK, now you should have yum config manager. All right, so let's let's add a let's add rel seven server RPMs. Make sure it's enabled. Cool. And extras. Uh, let me just. I've got some. Pretty sure it's all enabled. Here. <laughs> you never know. Uh -oh. um, what's that? That didn't work. Um, so the other thing. It's. Um, yeah. It, yeah, it didn't work. Rel seven servers, isn't it? Server. Oh right. uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, Oh, also maybe not. oh, it's an entitlement thing. Should I should I subscribe? I'm, I'm guessing I have to subscribe, right? You you might need to. Um, you uh, might need to. You would, do you have your employee subscription? <laughs> I do. Somebody says it was enabled already, so maybe just try and do your thing. Okay. Yeah, maybe you're right. W S um, Hari, which I'm sure is W Shari, but I also can't. I'm not sure. So. 
one time I, my, if you notice my RHN ID, it has engineering in it. I, I once mm -hmm. fooled somebody well enough that I was in engineering that it lasted a day. <laughs> a day? <laughs> a day. Nice. Um, all right. So question, uh, can we kind of just create like a script real quick to run all these firewall commands sure. and cheat. They're all commented out. Unless you want to see me type them well, all out by hand. Well, you commented them out. Oh, I know. What's the difference? <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, you could have done all a right. visual block there. Shh. I know. <laughs> see, this is these these are the <laughs> these are the things that I knew were was so gonna happen. If, if in case you didn't know, bind is number Thanks one, well. DNS is number one for me, and Vim is number two. So <laughs> have you been have it's you good. been doing the vs code vim vs life? code yes i've been, I've been yeah the i've been uh, i've been forcing myself to do that dude the vs so, code vim life is it let man? me let me ask you guys what are all these ports let's see here well i recognize a couple of them so, so if, got... if so if you do um we, we, we go line by line right <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding we don't so have to do that http https nfs you got the udp um uh, ha proxy um, that time time protocol Auto map is it, or wait not 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 um Auto, what's R -R RPC use? bind yeah yeah oh yeah. gosh yeah. it's been a while okay yeah. so uh, let me just uh, you can you just, just bash, bash it um, come on engineering let's uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right all right, all right. Cool so <laughs> adding a bunch of fire adding a bunch of firewall rules I probably missed some because I took bad notes last time I did this um, and then we'll um, uh, should we, let's not, let's not configure NFS yet. Let's just install, let's install HA proxy. Yeah. All right. Um, Keep says that, uh, we should be adding service instead of doing port by port. Oh yeah. Better right. yeah. Same, same behavior, better experience though. Yeah. Um, well, better documentation. You're probably right. And, yeah. um, all right. So then what we're going to need and, oh man, sorry. Trying to copy and paste. Yeah, Chris. This. Chris Short says that assumes we know what we're doing. No, so. I said that. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, is that you? I thought that was Chris yeah, Short. Yeah, no, Chris is logged in by himself. Um, okay, so what do we need to edit next? Is the uh, HA proxy config, right? HA proxy um, config, uh, SC Linux, all that good stuff. Do we need SC Linux? Well, if you're binding to um, different, um, I, I forget what it is. Can, uh, it's, I think it's. SC bool collect any connect any or something like that. Set four okay. zero. Yeah. No. Set four <laughs> zero would do it as well. <laughs> I'll I'll uh. Defer. Oh, right out of the right out of the training manual, man. <laughs> copy <laughs> the copy the default config file to Ridge. Okay. So so here's you, the new you, HA you proxy config. Very well. That's um, right. This uh, it's not. It's actually not, It's not. It's not because. I want to do it the right way. It's because I'm scared I'm going to do it the wrong way. <laughs> um. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, so now we have right, to put so. the new, well, we will have to put the IPs in once we have them, right? Yeah, exactly. So this is basically just creating a simple HA proxy that's going to, you know, uh, what kind of load balancing, you know, uh, you want to do and all that sort of stuff. And then you'll see it's basically saying for answer for OpenShift API server, the back end or the back end for OpenShift API server are these three masters, yep. uh, so on and so forth. And I, and I should say uh, a lot of this stuff I got from various people's GitHub repos at Red Hat. So it was very <laughs> helpful. I didn't actually have to figure it all out myself. Um, well, but that uh, means so that if you I, had to go trolling Git repos, that means that our docs aren't good enough, which means we have yet again found docs bugs to find. <laughs> no, well, I mean, I guess setting up HA proxy is not necessarily, um, you know, uh, oh, it, that's true. Not, okay. Well, yeah, but it's it's it should be clear. I would hope that at least the docs are clear about which ports need to go where. For yeah, they are. They are. Okay. But great. knowing how you take that and transcribe it into, into HA proxy. proxy. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. See, there. That's the. Also, I see you're missing the bootstrap on the API server backend, and also the yeah, machine right. config server. No, he had machine config. Um, it was further down. No, I mean he he needs the bootstrap entry for the machine config server. Bootstrap entry. Right, because sure? doesn't doesn't the bootstrap first host the um, machine config service and also the API? Yeah, but when else? you when you boot the when you pixie boot the core OS host, you give it that. It's not yeah. it's not hitting the load balancer for that. It's going directly. Because the bootstrap server is the Let's, machine config server. 
And so interesting. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. I'm making okay, an assumption here. Saying. So James will yeah. confirm I, or deny. Well, we're gonna we're gonna find out. Well, we'll if, see it. Yeah, we'll see it. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it live. <laughs> because then, because this go. this will simplify my this will simplify my configuration if this yeah. is true. Because I always have to I remember, but maybe this, my my information is from four dot o, which was alpha a long time ago. So maybe things um, change. I I love yes. that we have so, a partner helping a customer right now in the Twitch chat with regards there to you go. Ansible <laughs> and configuring HA proxy. This is awesome. All right, so I will. Um, I'm not going to start HA proxy now because yes, um, R RDO agrees with me. So, okay, well, we'll, we'll see. Maybe All James right. has found a better way. Um, uh, so I, I don't think it was me. I think I took it from someone in consulting, to be honest with you. Um, and it and it worked. That's so, um, uh, I I trust people in consulting. Yeah. Um, so I did it this way. I'm not going to start. Explode, so I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, so I I'm not going to start HA proxy because we have to change the values in there anyway. So it's kind of moot point. Um, and then I'll uh, let's it's just a get. Point? Let, it's like a cow's moot? opinion. Is it? It's a moot point. I don't, I don't know. Moot. Anybody moot? get that reference? Moot. Yeah. Um, so it's from I'm, movie, right? I'm installing Apache. Um, and then we'll go. Uh, we'll go edit our http.conf. And we're going to change this to listen on uh, 8080, right? So that way it doesn't conflict with HA proxy. OK. Cool. And what's um, Apache going to provide for us? It's going to, we're going to host all of our uh, PIX, ignition files, Pixie, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, I really am worried I'm going to butcher this up and it's not going to Service. Be. Wow, look at you. Um, Talk about uh, rel, rel three days, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't, I, I don't know who decided that system CTL HTTP dot service start is better. You don't need the um, dot just, service. You, it, it assumes service. Um, if you don't tell it what type of unit you want. Sorry, old habits die hard. I, I was actually going to write a corn shell script for those part. <laughs> corn shell. Okay, now we're talking. There you go. Uh, That's okay, exciting. so I, oh man, I used uh, to do that in my uh, Solaris days. Um, so let's see, uh, actually, let's just go back here because we have, so let me go back to this screen. If you were looking at your monitor very closely, I apologize for switching from like a black terminal to a white screen and probably messing up your eyes pretty bad. You can see that my face okay. got brighter and the video's changed. So it's not, so it's not, <laughs> so it's not working. So is this a permissions issue? No, or you no? went to port 80. You, oh, you, 8080. 80. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Oh, sorry. All right. Oh. All right. Um, good. Test. Boom Hello, again. All right. Okay. So, so just uh, for those watching, up. please don't DDoS the freaking servers that we're. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Be nice. While true, do curl. <laughs> and <laughs> or curl like, and. Or, yeah. And and yeah. Exactly. Apache benchmark. <laughs> Work on right. your own. Your own laptop. <laughs> all right. So um, all right. So now what do we need to do? We need to you tell get me. over to. Um, Oh, I just got a we need, we need to go to cloud.redhat.com slash open shift slash install. So maybe I should actually. Oh, the collagen's getting to you, man. Oh, it's not the collagen. It's the. It's the where, where, it's in, is it in cluster manager? What do you want to do? What are you trying to do? No, go, go back. You, you're in the right place. Yeah, I was just trying to show how you actually get there. Oh, how do you the get there? Screen. I always get there by try.openshift.com and just follow, <laughs> the, and follow the links, follow the endless links. Uh, <laughs> It's funny, you know, somewhere there's someone in UXD that could be like, like, this is how you get there. And then there's like the 800 ways everybody gets there without ever. Yeah, yeah, without ever using it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, like, uh, I go to this Reddit feed where someone mentioned it once. And then I, and then I. I've I definitely done that before for finding weird things. It's like <laughs> yeah. I do a search for the thing and, and yeah. it's not the thing I'm looking for, but it's the first search result or whatever. And that takes me to. The yeah, <laughs> I search for Redis post yeah. about OpenShift. <laughs> and then from there. <laughs> so we want to, so we want to run on bare metal. So I'll, I'll hit run bare metal. Um, and then you have your download. So you have, um, did you already do this? Or are you going to show us your key as well? You could copy. Oh, the, you could, oh that's true. You can copy, copy it. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to copy it and I'll put it in another page. But so I think what I need to download is the installer because I'm pretty sure uh, you I'm know. just going to drop it on that system anyway. Um, and then, this sounds like it's important. Yeah, it sounds uh, like it's OS, important. It might just be. Yeah, I think I need the. Um, let me see. I need the installer init ramfs install. 
or which one? Make, oh, sorry. You probably so, can't see that. It's too tiny. Making a quick note, because I ran into this um, when 4.4 came out, um, the links <laughs> on try on this cloud open shift, uh, redhat.com slash open shift slash install um, aren't always right. Um, I had to file a bug. So, and, and I had to file a bug to get the, the sim links updated. So always just make sure you're downloading the right version of Red Hat Core OS yeah. for the oh. version of the installer. So you, which you are. This is 4.4. How do I get 4.3? How do I get 4.3? Uh, click on parent Looks like directory. I am installing 4.4. Yeah. Well, well, we, I mean, we are installing 4.4, 4. 4. but if you really they wanted 4.3, you, you can go to the parent directory and then pick. Yeah, if you click on parent directory and. Uh, Should I just go through and install 4.4 then? Yes. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. All right. Where it's like it. peer pressure. Um, we're gonna find. We're gonna I'll, find the differences. I'll, that way, I'll, I'll have. It. <laughs> By the way, Andrew, way Andrew suggests that you simply copy the URL and wget and the files from the server. Oh, you man! I'll tell you, people are smart. I I need to listen to more people. Um, all right, so That's right. Uh, let's just make a directory called uh, install in here for fun. W get it uh, or curl dash O, however oh, you guys want to. <laughs> <laughs> curl dash O and then redirect. From the it person who made whatever. fun of me using the service command comes curl yeah. dash O. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Although, so, although I'm the person that like uh, when I'm writing code, which really is more just like hacking around, um, I I include the URL from Stack Overflow where I copied the code as a comment. Just so that you know, I can find it later <laughs> so to figure out why I'm doing this gotcha. really weird thing. I'm nice. doing this because this, and just yeah. put the link. No, really. I mean, I yeah, there are no, I've, many, I've done things like that before. Many Stack Overflow yeah. links in my code. Yeah, let me just get another window over here. I just want to see where. Whoa, sorry, this is off camera here. I, at least I hope it is. Uh, I, I do not I mean, see something. It, so. you're, you're doing something that we're, you're not looking at us. Is that a Peloton okay. bike um, in the background, by the way? It is indeed. There you go. It's my. Did you did you gift it to your my, wife? Uh, no, my wife actually gifted it to me like two years ago. Uh oh, uh -oh. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> that was a great commercial. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so hold on. What was I get? I where where's my uh, download installer? What was that thing called? OpenShift dash installer. Where did that thing go? Because let me just show in folder. Well, if you go, you can could just copy the link, right? Yeah, but I, I just couldn't find it in my downloads directory here. Um, uh, I'm a little slow. Maybe slash temp. We should probably do <laughs> these earlier everything. in the morning. Um, okay, slash so. <laughs> dev, dev shim, you know? Just put in shared <laughs> <What>? memory. <laughs> okay, so let me just move. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just doing something off camera here. Sorry, or off screen. It's okay. I'm very I apologize for being this live. is all casual. Yeah, this is this is all okay. So while we're while we're now. waiting for James, I'll do the obligatory where's everybody from? And they can respond in chat. And that could be right. whatever type Roll of call. answer you want. <laughs> well, as long as it's nice. Uh, uh, as long PG as it's a nice place, I guess. No, I don't know. Well, no, I meant like PG thirteen answer. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, Although I don't think we have a definitive answer about swearing yet, I, I know that uh, Mr. Dobie's has a, a mouth like a sailor. Well, Do Dobie's no. dropped the f bombb so it's it's. <laughs> well, I just I don't know. I'm like I'm I'm still yeah. Being I'm like oh, yeah. normal because I'm trying to be nice, but yeah. Oh, we got somebody from Norway. It's like if I was uh, in Norway, I would be asleep right now. It is definitely almost bedtime for me in Norway time. Well, Norway's um, well. They're they're starting to get to the point where like the day is really, really, really long. Right. They get really long yeah. uh, sunlight, right? So they're up Canada, north. Canada, Belarus, Saudi Arabia, and Libya. Oh, Belarus. Privet. Yeah. Although I don't know Belarus. I only know that one word in Russian. So. <laughs> New York City. All right. Uh oh, my Chrome just froze. Let me see. Oh, oh baby. There it goes. Wait, it's it started. Oh, okay. It's back. It started to do something. Couldn't. Oh, I, for some reason, I can't click on that one installer page. I have to do this. Okay. Okay. So I downloaded the command line tools. I downloaded a bunch of the the um, uh, stuff over here. Thank so you, Agnes Red, for I've the follow. And MFS, everything. 
Yeah, I think I need everybody. Uh, right, I have everything I need. Grootsy. Um, <laughs> um, Christian, is our is oh, our word my installer is still downloading nerd. actually or uploading? That's word right. nerd. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. Arizona. So, all right, cool. Um, so, uh, okay, so I need those. I need those files. This uh, RHDOS to be in my uh, web server, right? So basically on var www html, let's create something called install. Does that work? Well, uh, it could. Let's call it deploy. Uh, it's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> yeah. I have a directory called install in my home directory, and that will mess with my head. Oh, okay. so, yeah, I guess that's um, true. Let me just move. Just move all the files there. <laughs> I'll move. Yeah, I know. So I'll just I'll move everything into there. I'm going to leave my installer script here because I don't when you run the installer, you have to paste your pull secret into there, right? Into the Yeah, manifest. but it pastes, it pastes with stars when you paste it into the interactive installer. Yeah, I'm not going to do an interactive installer. I think I'm going to use a, um, like a, wait, I don't know. I'll show you how I'm doing it. But my, my point was that if I put that in var HTML, then my manifest is going to have the pull secret on a public website. On a public oh, Facebook. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fun. So, um, Although it would make for interesting results potentially of this uh, of, of today, I don't. Um, I'm not really worried about the pull secret thing. Then it just looks like okay. you're, then it just looks like you're yeah. really excited about OpenShift. By yeah. by the way, there's there's no reason to like even if you were like it, for people watching, there's no reason for you to, to to steal the pull secret because like you can apply, you can sign up for a free account yeah, and get your own the, pull, secret. The pull secret. It's free anyway. <laughs> yeah, pull secret's free, so. By the way, so it's developer.redhat.com. Sign up, you get a pulse. Nice. I like it. Um, okay, so uh, let me see if my secure copy of okay, so the OpenShift tools are still here, right? And they finished uploading. They're yeah, 81 meg looks good. So let me just uh, do one. Look at the hash. Make sure it's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Okay, so now what I need to do is um, whoa. client tools. How you need OC and kubectl, kubectl, kubeop. Yeah, I, I will need it. those, won't I? Um, all right, let's figure Maybe. that out in a little bit. Um, actually, I could use most of those from my from my laptop, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. They should be um, backwards compatible. Once, once the cluster is right, running. So <laughs> you say that with so much confidence. I, I like it. All right, OpenShift install, create manifests, dash dash directory equals, and we're going to create them in, uh, oops, I guess I need a directory first, huh? Um, what should we call it? Uh, Twitch. Manifests. Oh, how about that? Is that, is that, am I the first one to come up with that idea? No. You think? I created a Twitch something the other day. I don't remember what it was. Oh, when we did our, um, on our when we yeah, did our metrics there. one, we had a Twitch metric. That was a random number a generator for how many viewers no. we had. Wait, Wait this is this isn't right. Wait, I'm doing something wrong here. There was supposed to be a you way. Need an, you need an install dash config. So you, you can do create oh. install dash config, or you can drop an install dash config dot yaml directly in that directory. So. Oh yeah, I just I know what I need to do. So I make the what directory Twitch, and then I create this file. Correct in there. Yeah. Um, and there's like a there's a copy button I think in the in the top right. The top right corner. Yeah, let's look at that. Okay. Did you hit so, Control C? Uh, Twist C. Install. Whoops. Dash Sorry config. Dash config. Dot um, So basically, this is what it's going to look like. You guys can tell me what, how poorly I don't understand how to do all these things, but or how bad I am at all this stuff. But basically, um, let me look at this. I just want to see. I have a little cheat sheet here on my side where I was doing this kind of stuff before. Um, okay, so base domain. This is going to be my domain name that was in AWS uh, in yep. Route 53. So this will be demonstrate.net. Did you really and buy then, that? That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I it's like better it. Better than openshiftdemos.com. <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't think of anything fast enough. Um, so this metadata name. Um, this is going to be my sub direct, my subdomain. Um, so if I go back to, it's gonna be I believe we call it the cluster ID, right? We call it the cluster ID that 
yeah, well, you have test right in this in this. Yeah. I don't know what the right terminology is for I that. Think I think it's cluster ID. I think we called what it do, cluster what do, ID. What do the docs say? Oh yeah. Let's go look. You're on the page. Metadata, Metadata six. The cluster name that you specified in your DNS records. We were both right. <laughs> we were both <laughs> in the right. All right. <laughs> Love it when that happens. Um, all right. Shortlinger scat. <laughs> All right, and then poll secret. Obviously, we're going to replace that with my poll secret. Um, and then SSH key. This is where you should place your SSH key you want to use to be able to access Bootstrap, Master, and Workers. So I'm guessing what I should probably do is just drag this off screen, copy yep. that in, save it, and then we'll be good. Yeah. Yep. Just give me 30 minutes. Yeah. So let's let's uh, 30 <laughs> minutes to, to make that update. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do well with everybody, everything, everybody watching, you know, it's That's really fine. scary. Although Lots. we're hitting, we're hitting 45 users. So we're getting close to mine and I told uh, my, Adobe's. I told my kids to join. So that's four. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, doing my part. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, I thought they thought they thought you were going to play Minecraft or something though. Yeah. Something exciting. So someone it's, just says more than zero worker replicas or replicas. Not to no, start. no. So no. So what? So the reason it's set to zero, um, in case you didn't know, is that um, is you're telling the installer um, how many machine sets or machine configs you're going to build. And since we're doing this manually, the installer isn't going to build the machines for you. We're going to build the machines. So if you if you take a look at the dock, um, what number is? James, if you can oh, scroll yeah. just a little bit, it's number number four. So if you scroll down, you see number four. It tells you to set it to zero. So you must set the value to replicas parameters to zero for workers. So there you go. If you were doing an IPI install, let's say on a cloud provider with cloud integration, then you would definitely need to set it to like two or three, something other than zero. All right. Sorry, I told you it was going to take this long. So someone said I came here for Modern Warfare, ended up with Opus Ship. So it's. <laughs> it might be. It's, hopefully, it's the wrong. That's the wrong it's, stream. You, you can you can uh, you can see some sim racing stuff with on uh, my drive with Eric stream someday soon. If anybody's into All right. Is that, I, is that what the the seat is next to you, Eric? Yeah, that, that, that actually is. It's my. Uh, here, I'll pick up my. You're racing. Yeah. It's my. Sim oh, there you okay. go. See, there's a racing rig. Nice. Let me see. Let me just do a couple things. Okay, so I have my install config in that directory with the pull secret. Oh wait, what happened to it? Oh no, it's there. Yeah. Um, I just probably, there, I'm I'm just scared I'm gonna it screw it up and and cost us a bunch of time. So I'm being careful. Oh, that's um, fine. All right. So let me drag this back over here. Okay. And you do a tree, right? Tree. Huh? Find. Find. Find dot. Yeah. <laughs> tree. tree. Man not, not found. found. And they uh, give you the bare minimum, man. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty bare. <laughs> uh, bare okay. Girl. So. So now we've got um, that done. What's next? Mm -hmm. So now we have to create manifests or do we ignition configs? Wait, I'm trying to think through this. Oh, well, we do an install create manifests directory. We do. We have to create manifests because by default, uh, the installer will try to make the the master schedulable, which we, we don't want. In this what case. do the docs say? Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you ask what we hey. should do, I'm going to ask you what the docs say. I, reading documentation is not the way to learning. Thanks for the follow, um, Mr. Harrys. I'm just. <laughs> yeah, so, if, yeah smashing your head 83? against the wall is how you. <laughs> exactly. OpenShift install create. I think it's. Um, create manifests. Yeah. It's create manifests, yeah, and then it's uh, equals Twitch. Um, Does this mean James will need to write his own machine sets, or none at sets. all because UPI? So the answer is none at all because UPI machine sets only work in a cloud provider integrated environment where we have a um, machine API controller for that particular cloud, and since we're not treating packet like a cloud there are no machine sets so we will be using so, yeah. um, bare node definitions 
uh, and then we will. So we won't yeah. have machine sets. We won't have machines. We'll just have bare node definitions. And then when we do the bootstrap process for new nodes, our workers when they come in, they will simply um, uh, report in, and then we will accept them. So, so just to clarify, because someone's saying there's no machine sets with UPI, that's not technically true. Because if you do yep. an AWS UPI, you yep. will still have machine sets. Yep. This is specific to bare metal UPI, yep. Yep. which I think it's. Uh, I think we, we kind of made a mistake by calling it bare metal UPI because we should maybe call it like the manual installer or. Yeah, I mean um, the, the the key differentiator is whether or not there's a cloud provider configured in the cluster. So like you said, Correct. UPI is possible on all of the clouds. Well, I shouldn't say all. There are a number of clouds where UPI installations are supported. And even though it's UPI where you're pulling all the levers yourself and it's not fully automated, we do have that cloud provider integration. So when you do that on AWS UPI, all you're doing is pulling sets. more levers on your own. But those machine sets and that cloud provider integration still is available and um, can be used. So you can do machine sets, auto scaling, all that stuff, um, even if you do UPI in a cloud. How about VMware UPI? So VMware UPI is actually the only one we have right now. Um, we're working diligently together with VMware Engineering to get a fully automated installer. Part of the thing is if you think about what an IPI installation requires, um, it requires load balancers and it requires other dynamic infrastructure to be created. And we had to work with VMware to figure out what API call we're going to make to get a load balancer as an example. So that's hopefully four or five ish. We're, we're still trying to figure that out, whether that's going to be four, five, four, six, but it's, it's definitely on the roadmap. Where are you at, Mr. James? Cool. Yeah, just a couple things. So I ran that create manifest. It failed because my JSON file was not formatted correctly. Mm -hmm. So I fixed that. I ran it. And now I have, um, actually, if I look inside of that Twitch that Twitch directory, it now created a whole bunch of manifests, manifests for me, as can you can you see. Can you list that folder out real quick as well? Yeah, sure. Or Please find dot it. There you go. Lots of YAML. Um, so I have a whole bunch of cool stuff that happened. And then uh, what I'm, what I do need to do is, if in that manifests uh, there is this cluster scheduler O2 config, and I think I have to change this to false according to the documentation. That is, and correct. I think it was also according to the message it spit out at you. Yeah. Um, well, it's a warning, right? It says control schedule. Yeah. But it doesn't tell you how to do it. Couldn't they just have told me? Just go change. You this. may wish to blah blah blah. Yeah, you um, may want to. Oh man, yeah. a bunch of recent <laughs> followers. So let's see. Okay. Alpha, so we've thank got. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you. Keebs, thank you. Um, OpenShift install create manifests directory That's Twitch. Cool. Okay. So now we want to create the ignition files, right? Yep. So we're going to run OpenShift install create ignition dash configs. Does that look right? Somebody. Looks good to me. All right. Let's run it. Cross your fingers. Colonel panic. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. OK, success. So 4.4 .4 is working so far. This is great. Um, OK, so now High what we want to do is we're going to go to our, so now we have everything we need to successfully deploy as far as ignition config files and manifest, right? So now we're going to go over to our web server over here and we're just going to make a um, oops sorry i'm just going to make a file called bootstrap.boot which will be our ipixie file okay um I we're going to need three IPixie. we're going to we're going to have to have three ipixie files one for the bootstrap node one for the worker nodes and one for the master nodes make sense because the bootstrap host is also running core os right uh exactly okay so um, what we're so... doing is we're creating an ipixie config specific for the bootstrap host and the bootstrap host is the one that actually sort of configures the cluster like if i remember correctly the bootstrap host starts its own cluster in quotes it's just one node 
and then it stands up the masters, the control plane, and sort of like then puts them in charge, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I. It sounds plausible what you just said. We're gonna yeah, go no with it for down. now. Hopefully, there's an engineer we'll go with watching it. who will correct me if I'm wrong, which was super fun when we did the monitoring one. Apparently, they're actually not that happy, the monitoring engineering team, but that's okay. Engineering in general, right? I don't think we said anything. <laughs> they're not that. Or, or so here or you're changing models. the IP address. These IP address is specific to the helper that you have, correct? Yeah, exactly. So I just pulled that from the packet.net server. I probably should just have created a DNS entry for it and make it a lot easier um, if I were going to do this ever again in my life. Uh, well, and it. or especially if you were going to be bootstrapping lots of clusters, um, yeah. you would probably yeah. make this a little bit also, easier. It yeah, sounds also, like I've done this also, before. It sounds like I've done which before. Yeah. <laughs> also, the, the reason um, we're doing iPixie is because we can't really... In, on packet.net we can't attach an iso and just do the install from that right exactly yeah they they have yeah, a they have an ipixie uh sorry they have a custom ipixie um option for when you're deploying a server but they don't have like yeah just drop an iso onto this i think it has something to do with the the magic foo that they have going on in the uh their deployment stuff magic foo. i'm assuming magic foo little <laughs> little, <laughs> little, little trolls right the little hamsters right. I, I running around that. um I, I was going to actually ask you guys, do you think you could not, obviously not with packet, but do you think you could leverage satellite to do this? I don't, know, like, I don't know if satellite supports iPixie. Well, not iPixie, but a satellite does do Pixie, Pixie booting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we need to ask Rich Dorito. Um, Is this, wait, Dorito? Dorito. Oh, Dorito. I was like, what a cool last name. Um, do you not know Rich? Worker. No. Oh. That's that's a surprise. Sorry, I need to not do that. That was the the thing that Chris Short posted the other day. Let me rephrase that. Um, wow, I really need to introduce you to Rich. There we go. Okay, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's um, a. He and I were actually both going for him, me, and uh, Scott McCarty were all trying to make the transition from sales engineering. Um, oh, basically all at the, same, in the time. same time. And so we were all in Raleigh. Uh, which we discovered we were all there because we were all interviewing for the satellite TMM role. Um, but it didn't dawn on us until we're sitting in the lounge <laughs> at the Marriott. You're sitting in the wait. You're sitting no, in no. the waiting room. We're right? sitting or, in the oh, lounge the at the Marriott, like with Chris Wells, basically, uh, who was running that, that group at the time, oh, the, funny. the marketing group. Or and we were like, Oh, oh uh, like yeah, nobody yeah. said it, but oh, we all sort of looked at each shoot. other at the same <laughs> moment and went, Oh uh, yeah. So oh, yeah, I see Rich, what's going on here. Rich got the nod for that one, and then I ended up coming to work under Dan Youngst at the time um, as the first OpenShift TMM, and then Scott ultimately ended up moving over to portfolio marketing and then into PM. Um, so yeah, I lots forgot of, to uh, replace of while whatever. you guys were talking. I forgot I got to replace all these image names with four four three now. That was oh. another reason not to do four. I'm, so I'm what? Little... You so mean another, say, you another, another probably... reason to not pre prepare? Oh, I could probably do like <laughs> substitute four four three. I was gonna say you, uh, like, you can run a set script. S, yeah, set. I understand, but by the time I do that correctly, yeah. What well, didn't we say? Like, why? What, what did you post, Eric, the other day on Slack? Is like, why? Why do something once? What? Oh, here, wait, no, it's on Twitter. Automating um, it. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, I was just looking through my my tweet stream because one of our viewers asked about me. I think engin annoying engineers, and so the quote is from a guy, Zhou Zhang. He says, never spend six minutes doing something by hand when you can spend six hours failing to automate it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's what that's when CF Engine was the uh, predominant. Um, oh, God. Don't so pick engine. on people. Wow. It's not nice. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Look, so, so someone someone posted the actual actual said command. Yeah. It's actually pretty cool. Well, uh, it's the the syntax of the actual said command. It wasn't the actual command to run. Like you couldn't just. Oh, you know what? Oh this no! Somebody actually... did post the said command. Yeah, saying, someone did post it. Yeah. You were talking about. Wait, I was looking at the actually, vi um, one, not the said one. Go ahead. James. I'm looking at this. This didn't. This didn't copy and paste correctly, did it? Um, uh, don't ask all... me. This is I. I've, I've never used iPixie, so this is this is your. You can do a set list. So if you do a colon set list, it'll show you where the line breaks are. Yeah. Um... You, you guys are really making me nervous here. Now. <laughs> right, so, so this kernel line is supposed to be all one line. That's good. Okay. And then, then the initial RAM disk afterwards. Okay. So 
I just got to, um, I mean, we find out pretty quick when you pixie boot it and nothing works. Um, uh, but this should be. Yeah, we're there. not we're not being good pair admin programmers. Pair, yeah, someone pair someone just says there's a delay there's a delay in chat. I'm like, yeah, that's 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 true. We're or we're probably a good thirty seconds delayed. Blame the internet. Blame the internet. Then the answer the it's a series of tubes, from what I understand. <laughs> <laughs> so many tubes. So many tubes. All right. So I know people are all getting upset with me right now for editing this all by hand, but no, but nobody's getting upset with you. They're just Someone laughing. Wrote a small, small shell script. Yeah. Um, okay. So did I miss anything? I changed everything to the IPs. I changed the, we'll find out. the version. version. So now I have these three files, right? Master, Master boot, bootstrap worker. Bootstrap, boot, worker boot. Um, okay. And then, uh, all right, so now what are we going to do? We're going to iPixie our master. Um, no, our, bootstrap our first? Three, no. You... Oh, it doesn't matter. We're going to do all three of them at the same time, right? Whoa. Wow. That's crazy. You guys, you, crazy. You, guys, you guys do your bootstrap first. I, I just usually provision them all and then just go update my DNS records, cross my fingers, and see what happens. Do whatever just you do want. That. I mean, it's your show. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, cool. Uh, I'm not so, telling you not to do it. Yeah. Right, so <laughs> not we'll intentionally unhelpful, but yeah, not intentionally unhelpful. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll do some x86 small just for fun, and then we'll do custom iPixie. Let me just make sure I can actually get to that. That uh... yeah, you should probably start your uh, HA proxy stuff. Yeah. Start your well, address. no, I got to replace the IP addresses first. Remember? Ah, uh, that's we why need, you don't start it first. We need to get the IPs. In, in order, order to, to uh, get the IPs. Yeah, can someone put the said for that? <laughs> <laughs> Paste that in the chat if you have the said. Okay, well, we'll do, I guess we could do the bootstrap first. Let me see. Um, yeah, let's try this. Okay. Um, wait a second. I feel like, I was just looking at my notes and, okay, so. You have I'm notes? You are such a cheater. Um, yeah, I have notes. Uh, I'm notes. Man, you're trying to script <laughs> it's actually, this show. It's actually a blog. <laughs> it's <laughs> actually it's actually a blog post, but that's why uh, it's not working because I wrote it afterwards and then I was trying to go back in my history of my command you line. Can, you can never do that. Up. It's always so hard when you do something cool and then you're like, I'm gonna go and write a blog post about this, and then you have to go back through the dirty <laughs> through mess your, of whatever. That through you your left. notes. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> notes. You took more. notes. Yeah, you took notes. What? <laughs> Okay, so actually, I guess let's do the bootstrap first. Um, what can we, do we do? We have to give that a domain name. Um, I'm trying to think of how this works. Is there anything in DNS that's that relies on that? No. So, so the idea. So, the host name gets set because of the reverse DNS. Okay. So. It'll look up at it at its own IP address and whatever name it resolves to, it'll it'll set okay. that as its host name. Okay, so I could just literally um, I don't think, think the I don't think the host name here is important. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. nothing Un nothing unless, is looking yeah. at the host name for the server. Unless unless that's how they set up their DHCP or whatever. I think it I think it'll work. Let's let's give it a shot. Um, yeah, yeah let's do it. Do it live. So we're going to, again, so custom iPixie. Yep. By the way, all this stuff is is accessible via API too. So like all that stuff, could you could definitely blow this out with like Terraform or Ansible or whatever you want. Yeah. Um, Christian and I so are going to we'll, do that on a future Slack or Slack, yeah. on a future Twitch. <laughs> I thought you were going to do it now while I was doing this. At the end, you were you were going to be done writing it all. I would be done gonna, writing. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to press the button. Um, okay, so that's coming up now. Uh, while that's coming up, let's just go... Let's just go for it. And while that we're waiting for that to come up, we'll provision the masters and the workers all yeah, at the same time. Okay. Our Sipony, next one small, custom iPixie. And we want the Do you choose new work because that's that's the closest data center to you? Uh no, I I just love the airport. Oh. Well, you weren't <laughs> kidding. I just thought <laughs> no, I, 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 I thought you were making I, a technically joke. Technically Dallas would be closer to him, I think. Oh, okay. Okay. 
which one crow flies or, for sure uh, but yeah oh sorry um this is really probably or love field the... or love love love, love note what was it the called? twitch with the fully love automated field. dpi would already be in after party mode by now <laughs> mode by now that's right <laughs> don't rub it in test out demonstrate that's is that right and then m1 was my other one is that right and m2 do you guys remember yes that's know. the one m2 okay so I'm let's go ahead and <laughs> only because you can't switch screens or your mac will or your laptop oh yeah yeah burn, your laptop right? will explode I, I, really, yeah, I can't do much I'm, if you see me looking down i'm probably looking at my phone okay so let's see these these new devices are starting up let's see if they if it works um well it says oh you have an oh there. no we we're unable to create your devices the facility ewr has no provisional x1 small x80 servers matching your criteria oh oh no so you know i did have a problem bigger. where i had to message someone i had to message someone at, at packet before because i ran out of like it said we're not allowing you to provision more than five servers or something i maybe they flagged me as a bit no I, they legitimately just might not have any so so funny story Let's we we just had red hat summit as as many folks know um, we did a lot of virtual labs. Uh, we were running most of that infrastructure on AWS. And um, we actually got panicked phone calls from Amazon because we yeah. had used all of their M5s. Hmm. Amazon's like, uh, we, can you not? Because we can have. Can you not use all the M5s? Yeah. yeah <laughs> we used all the M5s. Somebody says Packet has a Slack instance bug them there. Hey guys, you should come on our Twitch and watch us mess you up. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on our Twitch. Oh, I, I actually, I <laughs> messaged them and told the them to. I, I messaged them earlier and told them um, on their Slack channel that we'd be uh, doing this if anybody wanted to watch and and see our my really bad sysadmin skills. Um, yeah, if anyone's yeah, if anyone from Packet is on, chime up. Let's on the, see. On the chat. Uh, I, I just use the mediums. They won't. It's like three dollars an hour, so it'll cost me an extra few bucks here. When when I ran this, it was I think it cost me seventy dollars a day. Um, you have you have no more mediums looks like oh we were unable to create your devices huh this is not good these are this is the one thing i i so, was expecting to fail but not for this reason this, this, so this is what you get for using newark <laughs> well, yeah. oh man we do have a guy from packet on he says hey i'm i'm here from packet he's checking oh look at that see he, exactly yeah that so you ask awesome. he shall receive. see that's what happens okay. when i tweet and i tag them in it somebody's like hey you should look at this all Let's, right so because i was about I, to should I just Sorry. try one? I, I think the yeah, issue just is one. just they're short on. Oh, well, he's looking, on or, or she could be. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to assign gender. Right now, there's somebody running around with some cables and a. And yeah, a so pallet. cables. Yeah, <laughs> remote, re, remote hands is so running these servers right here. He said, uh, this person says, try T1 small. Yeah. Uh, would that be big enough for, for CoreOS, though? It Eight might gigs not of RAM, be, but it, it's probably uh, going to. That's good enough for fail. a worker. It's... Yeah. That's good enough. It would work for workers. Or... I don't think it's going to work for masters at all. For a master, no. Or so use C1. It? I think I just did C1, didn't I? Um, I just. C1 large. Try... Oh. No, you did medium. So should I try S1 large? Scroll scroll up. Dude. Is, there, there's a, is there a C1 x86? Yo, it's a C2 medium x86, which would be big enough. That's the one that I just tried and it didn't work. Are you sure that's the one that you just tried? I thought you tried a C1. That's ARM. C1 large, it's ARM. Yeah, but is there another C1? C1 small. Yeah, they're both C1 ARM. Small. I, so, oh, far, I, so far, I tried C1 small, and it said not enough. And it, I tried C2 medium, and it said not enough. You know what I wonder? Like, If there's not enough, why even show you? You would think they would know. just show you what's available. C1 small, yeah. the person says uh, we should try. Again, T one small C C one Charlie one C one Charlie oh, we, one. I think I just tried that, but it didn't work. Try it again. Let's try it again. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm, maybe, I'm just. I, maybe I feel just really something. I feel really bad if they powered down somebody else's server just now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would make for interesting live television. Or right. select a different data center. Someone said. Yeah, but the problem is I I. Oh, hey, here we go. That. All right. All hey, right. thank you. Whoever did whatever. Yeah, whoever did you. whoever. Yeah, whoever racked those servers. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll we'll let those get started, and then I'll just do the workers while we're at it. Yeah. How do I get so them? Did I just do C one small? 
Parsippany. Yeah, how do you give them the little, because we can give little prize thingies now, right? Eric? Uh, I don't know, can we? I think we can receive bits. I don't know that we can give them. Emotes only, chat. Followers only, slow mode. Yeah, yeah, emotes only, chat. Damn Followers hipsters. only, slow mode. Block terms, we can block some terms, okay. I don't know. Enter a word or phrase. W1, Get bots, all kinds of fun W2. Stuff. What's going on with the bootstrap one that you made? I don't know yet. I'm I'm too nervous to look. <laughs> <laughs> Just close your eyes. Is it W1? Oh, okay. So you went with with a master a zero. Yeah. <laughs> but for the worker, you went with with one. Yeah. Okay. The workers never started zero. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> They're inferior. They're inferior. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so last one, we'll, we'll try and boot the workers here. Um, there's no way that this actually works on the first time, by the way, right? Um, I just wanna be clear. Okay, so, um, so the way you check the install is you run, what is it like? OpenShift install, blah, blah, blah. Wait for yeah. bootstrap. Yeah, one of these, huh? Yeah, wait um, for uh, bootstrap complete. Yeah, sorry, I should have. Copy in my copy and paste. directory. My, uh, directory. I always do log level nine. Just give me everything. <laughs> um, is that right? That looks good to me. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Because you're you're already in deploy and it's trying to put stuff in Twitch. If your dir yeah, is Twitch. I, I went in the I went in the wrong, I was in the wrong, I was where I copied all that stuff over. So, oops. If you need additional yeah. devices, next one up is M1 extra large. Oh, sorry. Zero is already life cycled out of the cluster. What? I think we need zero. <laughs> I what sure is this? What Error executing I'm not sure what you mean. Except yeah. zero args received one. Um, Cause you have log level info two. So what is that two oh, at the end? There you go. There you go. Uh, that is me making a mistake. Ah. Okay. So now we're waiting, right? Um, while we wait, we could also probably. We could wait while we wait. We could. It's an option. So okay. What happened to my worker too? It never never deployed. Never spawned up. Yeah. Uh. Maybe maybe it ran out of seas while we were watching. Maybe it ran out of seas. You could try. I think um, I've had some up. weird things on the web UI uh, with Packet for a while, but I think part of it might just be Chrome or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't have a lot of luck with Chrome. Maybe try to deploy it again. Yeah, I guess I should. I'm just worried that I'm missing something and it's going to all of a sudden. Awesome. Now we, now we have people in our chat talking to, to the Packet person about how they can use Packet. Nice. There we go. I think that deserves some some credits in my packet some, account. Some, yeah, that's some right. Free, yeah. Some free beer, <laughs> some free beer advertising money here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah or rack some more server. servers or something. Yeah. <laughs> or I'll just give you my shipping ad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> give, um, give me some of those super micros that you had lying around. Oh man. W two dot. I I, I waffle back and forth. I don't forth want any. With, I don't want any uh, servers in my home. I was gonna say I waffle back and forth with putting like a server chassis replacing my tower chassis um, in my basement that's my file server with an actual server chassis and then i'm just like i don't even go in the basement that often but i just don't want loud fans <laughs> yeah please <laughs> they're out of uh c1 we, small we ran them okay. out of c1 smalls all right so just pick something random for a big one okay which one should i do yeah pick the one like with eight cpus and we only need one of them we're around. not running it for a long time so are you, are you with... chipping in on this or am sure, i paying for whatever. this myself we, what we, cost center are you? Hold on. Yeah, right. <laughs> w2. Okay, there, there's 29 M1 extra larges available. Oh, shoot. I didn't update my DNS records. That's going to hose me. Yep. There we okay, go. Okay. So let's go quick and do that. Um, M0. Can I like split screen this and make it faster, even if it's hard for you? It looks like, well, hold on. One or more. Oh, there was an error message for you that you ran away from. Sorry. I'm just going to okay. do this now because I think this is going to be. Oh, wow. That's an awesome rendering. 
Uh, let me just. <laughs> Apparently, the AWS Web Console is not designed for mobile. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me. I'm just gonna go change these. Edit record set. Why is this? What's going on here? Let me just go back to this. Yeah, you chose Remember the wrong it. record set. You chose SCD. Yeah. Or you chose the C name record, not a. Uh... The C name record, not the A record. Yeah. 96. Save. Okay. We'll do that one. We'll take M1. We'll change it to this. We'll change M2. And we'll change our worker. We should have the OpenStack guys to try and install OpenStack on PacketNet. I think they did. I think actually a lot of the telco team works. Did that? Use work, I think they, they work with them regularly. Nice. Mm, that's cool. um, I like it. I mean, honestly, like it's a, it's been good. So this 39.3, this is going to be what my... This will be that would my be the node. yeah the helper one yeah okay so the API go is going to be the helper node permanently or temporarily a H A proxy so that's where H A proxy oh right. Be, right yeah yeah my bad okay and then and this will be the workers yes okay assuming you have one good router old, on each worker good old round robin DNS okay DNS is not and a I don't balancer. now I shouldn't need to change right. anything else am I right <laughs> everything else looks good now I just changed everything over. Right. In theory. Uh, let me see here. 49, 111, 69, 127, 129. Yep. And then everything okay. else is 131. Okay. Which is the load balancer. Yeah. And then Looks I good to me. To, then I need to start HA proxy, right? After I got to go change that. Um, so SSH again. Actually, actually, this guy. There uh, we go. Oh, you got to edit the IPs. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just. Thanks for the follow, Rafin. Okay. Oops. Missed the master here. Cool. So far, so good. Moving right along. Well, I mean, to be to be fair, if, if things are going to break, this is where they will break. Yeah, yeah. I still think <laughs> I still think you need the uh, the bootstrap and the API and the config in the um, in the API section, but we'll see. Okay. This worked for you before. I th I thought it did. Okay, so let me just make sure I got this right. These are going to be the three. Okay, these are three masters, obviously. Okay, so just do this. Not bad if we could actually bang this out in a couple of hours, huh? Um, I mean, obviously, if we have yeah. Terraform and Ansible, it'd be a lot faster. Uh, one hour, but... twenty six minutes so far. So you're 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 still under the couple. I, st I I'm just if I finish, I had this blocked off till the end of the day. So you stand wow. between me and and a and a cocktail. And dinner. I was... <laughs> <laughs> did we did we decide if cocktails are allowed on our Twitch stream? Are we really, I don't know. Are the, we really uh... between you and a cocktail, or is it really just that you don't have the cocktail handy? That's a good question. I think it's the latter. <laughs> if I turn off my video for a few seconds, you know why. Yes, yeah. There you go. Um, I don't know. Why not okay. enjoy your cocktail while streaming? Right? Was, that's that's, that's what exactly Andrew the question that we're trying to figure out the answer to. I'm not sure. If All right. Does this a, look good? Does it look like I replaced that? everything? It looks like it. We're, we're Try to start it. Out. Can you look at the... Yeah, I, don't think, I don't think it's good. Yeah, I don't think it's going to start, but let's start it. I thought HA proxy just starts. Start HA proxy. Ordering. Start HA proxy. Yeah. System oh, CTL yeah, action unit. This is why This is why I... Um... No, there you go. System CTL status HA proxy. Oh. Bad wrapping. It's running, yeah? Uh, like it, it says is. active running. You can look at its log. Okay. Yeah, look at the um. You look. You have uh, the port nine thousand open, right? So you can, you can look at the status page if you want. Uh, I don't have the port nine thousand open. Oh, you don't. Okay. Well, you're that's listening just the on status, it. right? Yeah, well, that's the status page. Yeah. It's on localhost, so if you, I don't know if it's a do textable. Nine thousand. Dash dash. Nine thousand oh, slash okay. TCP. Yeah. 
or you can do an SSH um, forwarding and then connect to localhost. And... Oh God, dude, come on. That's <laughs> <laughs> um, just the IP address and then. Port 9000, you said? You say? That's what I said. Boom. Boom. How's it look? So it looks bad because all your backends are reporting down. Yep. Yeah, back end looks down. They're not, well, but they're not receiving. That's actually okay because none of them are receiving yeah. traffic yet. Like They're, they're not, not up they're yet. Not yeah, it's the install still going. Yeah. Well, the install is not doing anything, I don't think. So well, I got to SSH to that bootstrap node, basically. Correct. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's... first, let me SSH. Since I'm. Um, since I will need to be on the helper node before I stitch the bootstrap, because that's what I used yep. where my key was, right? That's where uh, you generated the key. Yeah, whoops. Root. Always root. Wow. Always root. Always, no, always no, bare no, metal, no always root. Disable root login? No, <laughs> always bare, not on RHEL 7. Uh, is, oh, is it core? What's the it's user core. It's core. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. sorry. Thanks for although the follow. It, although it doesn't look like Alexander. it's coming up, but. Yeah, this is not good. This is there is a where console? The, yeah, there's an out of band. There's a out of band. Yeah, um, it's like a TTY or something. Yeah. That we can get into. Know. It'll tell you what error it is. Ooh, uh-oh. This is probably the key on your desktop, right, that you need to use. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe open another right. tab. Whoa, tiny. There we go. Uh, wow. Not much happening here. <laughs> nope. Uh, what are you, okay, so what are we trying to do? do? Debug. We're trying to figure out, yeah, we're trying to figure out what, what's going on because I can't SSH to the... Uh, um, I wonder, should I see if the master came up? Just for fun. It Same thing. Not. You don't have oh. to. You don't have to like open a port or something on PacketNet or something. No, it's just wide open. That's what's so awesome. <laughs> so you oh, you, you started saying open, oh uh, bare metal. Oh. Uh, I started saying oh because uh, I was thinking, do I actually have permissions to pull to to download these files. You're yeah. you're breaking up. This is actually now you're breaking up. Yeah. Um, oh, my internet connection is unable. Oh. Nice. Hear? We can hear you now. Yeah. You're um, back. Okay. So what's what's okay, the question? Okay. So sorry, I started downloading. So I was I thought maybe there was a permissions. I thought maybe there was a permissions issue here, but it doesn't look like. It. Can you curl it from within that network? Because sometimes. Like, can you curl that? This looks like it's too, but look, this looks like it might be, I think there's something yeah. wrong with my. Do a, oh, okay, bootstrap. I see what you're saying. If you do a colon set uh, list, uh, it'll tell you. Well, he's not in Vim. He's, this is, he's looking at it in the browser right now. Well, I'm saying he, he's, are you talking about the right uh, line wrappings? Like it should all be one line or what, what do you Potentially, yeah, it yeah. Let me, let's, let's go. I don't know. I, I, I'm just guessing that. There's something screwed up in my iPixie configs, right? Because it's it's not see even Linux. Normally, when I boot this, I would see like I, I would I would watch the TTY through that SSH I would get to the TTY, and then I would watch that terminal, and I could see it come up. And it's it's hard to catch though on packet because like you'll just be getting this like text output, and then it'll you know if your iPixie doesn't work, you kind of wonder why didn't it work. Um, but I'm wondering if it has something to do with either permissions or the so what do you do? A colon what? A colon uh, set space list. And this like will, it'll sh yeah, in a hint, it'll give you um, the uh, oh the line endings. Saw one the line line. endings, yeah. So you don't yeah, this... you don't have a file in slash rhcos. Oh my goodness! That's what it is. Oh, <laughs> there uh... we go. So this is this is what happens when, when you, you copy plan and paste, copy pasta, and you take notes. <laughs> And then you copy pasta your own notes. <laughs> can you can you set? How do you unset? Unset list. Uh, uh, set no list. 
Yeah, I mean, one not, word that or it, two? not that it matters. Uh, one word. What? One word. It matters. I don't like those things. Oh, you're, yeah, you're you don't like you. you don't like to make me. It's nervous. scaring you where the where to tell you where the line breaks are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, all right. So those are in a folder called deploy, right? So I basically. I don't know. Where'd sub, you put it? Um, I have to basically sub uh, s slash rhcos or is it percent? What is it? Percent space. Percent uh, global uh, sub. Sorry. And, uh, percent, percent s yeah. slash. No, no space. Uh, space. Do, uh, slash That's not going to work. Slash G? Yeah, globally. Uh, oh, yeah. no, that'll, that'll like work. Like that? Yeah. No, that's bad. It, no, because you changed the name. Oh. Of... So here, so what's you... <laughs> okay, so you ready? So colon, no, I'll get it. We'll get it. Don't worry. Colon percent <laughs> S. Percent do, S. So, so stop. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Go back. Okay. Escape it? No, no. Go one more back. At. So if you lead with at instead of slash, it sets the character for the delineator for the sequence yeah. to be at. So now at you can this, do yeah. slash rhcos at, at so that's the delimiter now slash deploy at g at g. That oh, won't that's work not going to work either. This, no, no, no. That's the same pattern. Yeah, yeah. So so uh -oh. put a put a slash at the end of rhcos at Old De times the slash deploy <laughs> slash yeah at g sorry uh, whoa undo whatever you just did undo oh shoot how do i get undo. my history oh there we go there we go at g like yeah. that yeah yeah all right you know what i'm gonna copy and paste that line copy pasta and... more copy because you probably need it again yeah yeah i do i need it twice more and while that's okay before that I go did not change work the other stop files... stop stop go back it didn't uh -oh. work Undo. Oh, yeah, you're right. You. Do it again. Colon up. Uh, you need a slash. Nope. Undo. Colon up. You need a slash before you need a slash that. slash at the end of the deploy. At the end of the yeah. deploy, yeah. There you go. All right. All right. Cross your fingers. <laughs> can we do how uh, many? How many engineers does we... it take? Yeah, how many, <laughs> how many RHCE does it... <laughs> Can we do a... Um... Is that the right... Okay, before you do this, is that the right URL? Oh. Well, before actually, we... here... Uh, before that... you do that, check the URL and see that it actually works. Yeah, but before I even do that, I'm just going to terminate all these because why? it takes a while. And can... I don't... Wait, wait. And why do you need to the... terminate them? Why can't you just reboot them? Um, I don't know if that will work. Let's Let's try it. What? Yeah, oh, wait, you know why? It? I'll tell you why it won't work because I didn't check this little box, which I should have. Oh, checking the box. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that always gets me. Let me show you what I mean by that. Um, so the problem is, is I should have said, uh, when I did custom iPixie, I should have said persist Pixie is the first boot option after provisioning. What was, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Because now it's be, considered yeah. booted. I, uh, I think we could try it. Let's, let's try it. Um, oh, I knew, I knew. I would do something wrong. Um, if only right, we had spent six see. hours see. failing to automate this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll change these. Okay. Chris Short Chris, is that, are we and, breaking it? Are we, I just, we, we, yeah, <laughs> Chris asked if we were breaking anything, and I said we just started to break everything. Okay, so you're saying basically make sure that this file actually exists. Yes. Well, so yeah, we whatever it's telling file. us to grab, make sure that you can actually grab it. Okay, so there you go. Is there a deploy folder on that server? Yeah, hold on. Is that the name? There is a deploy, but then let me just maximize this and see what. Oh my goodness! Did I just switch completely over to Google Meet somehow? Yeah. How the heck did that happen? <laughs> Sorry about that. Maybe um, that's why your camera wasn't working because you were on Google Meet and it captured your camera. Well, the um, weird thing is, it, it uh, no, I think I just accidentally pressed some key sequence that, that made that. Anyway, all right. I think it's dot IMG, here. right? Or something like that? Or something weird? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, copy, and, yeah right. copy link location. Well, yeah, but that's that. the init RAM FS or whatever, yeah. Why is it showing me the short stuff here? Why can't I get like a, let me, Be let me just that's I can never, so because like, that's, it's, that's how you have Apache. No, that's what Apache does. Yeah, Apache has a config. Sometimes, well, sometimes I'll see the long name and sometimes I'll see the short name. I've never figured out what, why. Oh, they it looks like they changed it to be installer. Uh, oh, they changed the. 
wow is this rhcos-443 dash dash so this is what i just copied 64 is there twice yeah. well it says the, the a686 the, the, it looks like they have a oh the yeah now they have they, it looks like they've added this yeah because now we support power right and z so different architectures not arm but that's another conversation okay so basically i need a at the end of this i need a dash x8664 is that right yeah you could have just right clicked from the folder yeah. list Copy link in location. apache and then uh, pasted i would probably recommend yes. doing that but... yes i could have but installer init ramfs installer dash kernel okay then you're sure you have the right path Whew. all right one is iso okay, so you're saying just just delete this whole line here Oops. uh Whoa. don't do that whatever whatever you had just done X. don't do that <laughs> Yeah, just hit X a few times. X, 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 X. Oh, I would have done like well, V. Oh, D, I, well, oh like the copy X. block. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Should I do that for all these, the initial RAM disk? I, you, well, you need, to I would, get, yeah. you need to get it to be the right thing. I don't know what thing. Yeah, I just, it seems like. like... It's, it seems like it's just, just, just no. <laughs> it should it just it should why, it should do what it, I mean, not what I said. Exactly. Why can't it? <laughs> what I want it to do. Um, all, right. all right. And then, well, I got to do this like twenty times because I got three of these files, right? That's right. Um, okay. So, anyone on, once, on the chat once you knows, have it knows done the, the first said. time, then you can just uh, where is the, the files, is it raw dot gc this right? What's that? Yeah, you should be able to, yeah, do it once and just copy the file, right? Um, because there's less changes afterwards. But then I have to change it from. Well, from is so which, like which it, requires it, less right? changing? How about that? Wait a second. This would be Twitch, right? Wait, what is this bootstrap.ign? Where is me. it? I don't know. I, I think it's oh, it's in the manifest. So I have to copy those manifests over and make them public, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, well, if you didn't copy the ignition file. Yeah, if you didn't copy the ignition <laughs> file, yeah, the ignition file needs to be somewhere public, correct? Okay, I've done this once. I'm practically an expert. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need the bootstrap uh, ignition file that was generated by the installer when you generated the manifests. And that needs to yeah. go somewhere. It doesn't have to, go to, to go, go to that folder. That. It just has to go to the right place. It's got to go to that folder because it has to be accessible by the iPixie. It, it, so right. you... you uh, you're, you're getting yeah. flustered, I think. So you don't literally need a <laughs> folder path called deploy bootstrap packet env. You can put bootstrap.ign wherever you want it, as long as it's Yeah, accessible. no, I know. I, yes. That, yeah. That, that, I think that's what I, I thought you said. <laughs> okay. That's what, that's what you thought that I meant, but okay. you said something different yeah. in response. So what, what requires the least said. amount of changes is you basically copy this three times and you, they're just, <laughs> you just change the bootstrap, right? I, bootstrap I to worker. Yeah. I, I appreciate the fact that you're you're telling me this because one, you're right, uh -huh. and two, you're probably getting very tired of my command line skills. <laughs> no, not uh, at all. Well, by, by, by you're, the, you're probably by the more way, tired of us picking on you. Um, by by the way, no. seeing seeing someone use VI for me is frustrating. <laughs> because <laughs> i know like all the sh all, right, all the shortcuts so, yeah. so it's not just you right because i know like all the shortcuts and key bindings and i'm, I'm pretty fast with it right. so i just twitch twitch <laughs> hold on i what where's my okay it's do i need just those ign files ignition files or do i need everything from you that need, you need the ignition files okay so yeah. start.ign yep uh, and then put it in html deploy because you're doing an ls oh <laughs> Uh, well, man, it'll LL. It'll work, but it won't, true. Work. It won't do what you <laughs> yeah, want. It, it won't do what you want it to do. Very true. The the the, I'm the I, actual. I'm never coming. I'm never coming on here again. <laughs> we chased you off. <laughs> Just don't rage uh, quit halfway through, because then we're gonna have to start over. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you you got to persevere, man. I, it's tough. Um, I'm not good at talking and typing at the same time either. Um, oh man, it's tough. Uh, all right, let's see. Try to talk. Type and then walk like oh, Eric does. Like like me on my walking desk. Yeah, like on your on your mm -hmm. walking desk. So now I need to change Bootstrap that last line on the Bootstrap here to be just, just deploy. 
deploy. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. Is this probably? Does this look right? Now I'll copy this. Yeah, you copy this. To boot to uh, master dot boot. Yes. Should I have done a copy master dot boot to master dot ridge? Just kidding. Well, <laughs> straight from straight from training. Right, and then back. now you, yeah, master dot. There you go. Because the rest of the config is the same, so. Yeah. That seems goofy that there's not like a, like it. Well, I guess it's an IPixy deficiency. A script where, to automate this? No. no, it's an IPixy thing where it's like you don't. Um, I guess IPixy can't be dynamic. Like it, you can't be programmatic. You can't like pass a parameter I think, to. I think the IPixy I think that's URL. This goal. The goal of this this whole idea is is uh, to kind of fix some of that. Um, all right, so let me go back to, uh, where's packet? There it is. Packet Oops. net, all right, so now so I think you said delete. You, yeah, are you gonna try to delete sure. them or are you gonna try and uh, reboot them? I thought I did delete them, didn't I? Oh, I was gonna try and reboot them. All right, let me try and reboot them. Yeah, just do the, uh, the bootstrap maybe Three, one at a time. Five, six. You're gonna have to change the IP addresses again, right? If we delete them, we will have to change the IP addresses yeah. and the DNS. On, on DNS. Depends. I don't know if you, yeah, exactly. So let's do this reboot. Let's try it. And then let's get the out of band. Oh, my internet connection is unstable. Sorry about that. Out of band. It's interesting that out of band is in band. Because you can SSH to it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Super micro. Super micro. Let's here started. we go. I thought I was gonna. I thought these were these were just Xboxes or something. Good. On. So what's it doing here? You have to hit F12 to get the, uh, the boot menu. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, uh, I don't think that'll work very well. Because technically it didn't provision the first time, so there's nothing on the disk. So even if Pixie well, was the second option, then it should fail to boot. Or it's whoever used this server's last. Whoever used this server last. If they didn't, uh, if they didn't the, disk. the uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they didn't degauss it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put put a magnet on it. Boom! I pick um, All right. So. It's your internet that's not working. Well, he's, is it really that bad? He is trying to iPixie, so it does it does tend to drop in and drop out again. So it it looks like iPixie's failing to. It says file non-existent. TFTP operation, operation not, not supported. supported. Is that the destination server? Wait, net zero dot seven next server one two thirty one. Is that the server you're trying to reach? Yeah, is no. that the help the helper or right? Did you have to start a service? On Ice Pixie, on something. That's that's why I'm wondering if this won't work. No. Well, let's just yeah, exiting Intel boot agent. That that looks like. Um, but it tried. Well, so it tried to iPixie, but it failed to iPixie. Don't. But but the problem is that when I initially booted it, I gave it my iPixie file, and and then I didn't check that box to say persist this through reboots essentially. So now when I reboot it, it's probably trying to go to some a default packets, iPixie. Default yeah, iPixie. Right. So try and try, try assuming, one right? new server so, and then uh, and we'll see if it works. You think I should just try the bootstrap? Or just try But I am going to delete all these. All right. Do it. Yeah. Do it. I have to change DNS anyways. You are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of our viewers says that the helper needs to enable TFTP, but I don't think iPixie uses TFTP. It does not. Yeah, I don't know what iPixie does. It does some sort of voodoo. I think it's HTTP. I don't know what. I'm 
gonna ask um, I've, I've always done regular pixie with right, tftp so, boot and all that so i don't i've never let's see i pixie let me it's hard for me to think with all this going on <laughs> this is great Anybody so the, the faq what does the there? i and i pixie stand for it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't answer. pixie <laughs> it stands for no one. All right, deploy bootstrap.boot, custom I pixie C1 small, and I am in Parsippany, otherwise known as Newark. Parsippany, Newark. Okay. Yeah. How far is Parsippany from Newark? I'm assuming they're close. No. Yeah. I would think Eric would know. Eric Eric was from there. Well, I don't I don't remember my Jersey geography. One of our viewers Your is Jersey from geography. Jersey. Okay, you gotcha. So iPixie says you can boot from a web server via HTTP. So there's your answer to whether there, or not you need some sort of escape. Oh, look what it did to my terminal. You do, it looks so re, if you do reset, it'll it'll. I kind of like it. Yeah, you kind of you're gonna leave it there. <laughs> yeah, it's romantic. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with the red the red hue coming out of the. <laughs> so this is where you're waiting for the server to get to a point where it's powered up enough to show us something is that what's going on here yeah yeah and um yeah the hamsters have to go in and uh, do you have the right ip <laughs> or the right sos url i mean yeah I, I think so i think i just copied it out of here it's like a sauce report yeah it just takes a while right uh, for the it's for the the hardware to come up or the hamster or the hamster yeah little elves have to go in and rack it I forget there's actually an escape key, but I don't know what it is. Control. I think it's oh, tilde, oh, there you tilde. Go. Okay, hold on. Oh wait. Look at that. Stopping stopping doc docker, stopping this busy is, box. This is uh we are we are observing news, right? the their built in process right now. So this is yeah. like packet back this end is... stuff. Oh I thought I thought it was the pixie stuff starting up. Okay. No, that's like but it was going down back end. Well, because it, it hmm. booted up and wiped itself and then it reconfigured itself uh, and now it's rebooting again mm. i think it's like oh someone was... else requested me hmm? i wonder how how do they deal with like burn in um because like you know having like wiping and and like cycling yeah. hardware over and over again it must must be taxing be hard. i don't know must be hard yeah All or right, i mean on the machine the right configuring the network Say no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to do sync, sync, sync. Uh, oh, that's right. Sync, sync, sync. Halt. Looks good. There you go. <laughs> Pulling yeah, it's getting your file. Kernel. There we go. Boom. There it is. There's the. All right. Should we start with others? Sure. Why not? All right. I'm going to start the other three and then go change DNS because that takes a while. And then we'll come back and see where this bootstrap is at. Yeah. Oh, don't forget to uh, All right. check the box for the thing. Oh, yeah. Ah, what's in the box? Oh. Should I? The custom pixie. Yes. It, it depends how you're. Uh, With the way things are going, you are. I would strongly. <laughs> <laughs> Next, you're going to tell me to make sure I back up my files to dot or ridge. I would never um, tell you anyone that ever. <laughs> um. All right, so master.boot, we'll do three masters. Oh, you know what? We'll do, do it this way. And zero.test.demonstrate.net. We'll add two more. And one. And two. Um, good, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, I think so. Looks good. Do you have the right URL? Good enough for a town this size. <laughs> I just watched the three amigos on uh, Cinco de Mayo. Oh, did you? There you go. I don't did think you that have was a, a I don't think that was a plethora of right? piñatas. <laughs> uh, okay, those are coming up. Let's deploy the workers.
I'm taking donations, by the way, uh, for those of you on. Um, there you go. Watching uh, for donations for VI class, oh. for VI class. VI classes. That's right. <laughs> we, need to send, we need to send you to VI class. Yeah. I thought working with computers like that was the VI class. Like that. That was the class. Yeah, the school of hard knocks is what it is. <laughs> okay, I got some. Uh, oh, okay, it looks like things are starting to come along. Uh, All right. Let's let's fix the uh, fix the, uh, the DNS entries. Christian's favorite. My favorite subject, DNS. We were told to use M1X large for the workers by another packeter. Use Oops. nano. Well, we could use nano. Nano. It's a little easier. So the APIs, again, are the helper node, right? Because um, that's HA proxy. All right. Oh, so I don't have to touch those. That I don't know which that. one of those is I'm which because they're not. The workers, I don't have address. The C1 for yet. small host change. name is the. Um... The, that's the bootstrap, or that's the helper. Yeah, the bootstrap. I don't know. X one small help. is the uh, helper. No. C one small yeah. is the bootstrap. Gotcha. Correct. Yeah. Correct. You are correct. Uh, M one. And M two. Someone says nano rules. What about Pico? Right? Isn't there? Isn't there? Isn't there a fork? Pico. Um, these guys are not getting IP addresses over here. Maybe they all. Oh, maybe you exhausted their IP addresses. No, the error at the top says it's waiting for something to deprovision before proceeding. So please wait a few just, minutes. We're in a pause right. state because they're cycling things. Cool. So they'll come up when they come up. Check on the bootstrap, maybe. Good... See how we're doing. Yeah, there. check on the bootstrap. Yeah, that's look good. Whoops, is that here? It looks like it rebooted. Liberty bibbity. Um, bibbity bobbity boo. Can I just do this? Well, maybe also try to SSH into the bootstrap. Yeah. Or like type control control L in that as well. Maybe it'll repeat on. the screen. Where's the bootstrap? It's this one, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Oh. Still not a. What happened? Do a control uh, on that screen. Do a control L. Uh, yeah, no. nothing. Nothing, huh? Maybe try redoing the SOS connection. Yeah, hold on. Um, sorry, I'm going to make my screen a little smaller so I could see things. SSH info. Oh, that's uh, out of band info. There we go. Whoops. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we probably should have just left it up and running, huh? Well, you did. Yeah, but I, I, I yeah. don't. I it have no history. Give, yeah, it doesn't give you a like a buffer or anything. It just yeah. Hmm. Little scroll back buffer. Does that thing? Do they reboot after they install? No, right? Yes, yes. they do. Maybe it's rebooting. I don't think it would take that long. Oh. Well, yeah. Oh, connection closed. Well it, it closed, it, well, it closed. Well, it closed because. Oh, it closed because. On this one. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, all right, this is interesting. So it's Apache that's serving the um, all the bootstrap files, right? Yes. So what do the Apache Indeed. logs say? Yeah, that would be, hold on. Let me just think about this. If I go back to, well, should we watch one of these? The master? Just, just try it. Um, appears to be the same. Oh. That looks good. Not overwriting. Oh, it's restarting. Go. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's just taking a long time to reboot this thing. 
the bootstrap. Seems like it's a really long time. Oh, what? Is it in an iPixie loop? Isn't it going to go into an iPixie loop now? It no. may. It shouldn't. Yeah, I checked the box to say always iPixie, right? Right, but the way that the way that um, CoreOS works is that it'll iPixie, and okay. then the ignition file that it grabs, the ignition process looks at the system and goes, "I've already been ignitioned once. I am not going to mm -hmm. do anything, and then I'll just continue booting." And so don't, it ignition, exits. don't ignition me. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to at that point exit. Okay, so this thing looks like it started rebooting the master. Cool. Uh, what about the what about the bootstrap? Yeah. How? What's the escape here? Terminate it's, connection. It's showing you. Tilde dot looks like. Yeah, it's not working for some reason. Or, or worm. Yeah. Um. That's the. Hey, Thanks this is my bootstrap. Industrious. The bootstrap is up. No? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, it's up. I, it's I up. just you have, need you have to do it from the yeah, there you go. Wrong key. Yeah. Ta -da. It's up and that. you got a failed. Failed unit is probably better than not getting in via SSH. Oh. Is that me or Eric? It's me. Eric. Eric, Eric sounding like his So someone asked, if you want to change the configuration We're for back. a CoreOS node, um, do you change the ignition file? So yes and no, right? So in when you first set up a CoreOS node, yes, you have to change the, uh, the ignition file. Afterwards, you will use the OpenShift's um, machine config operator, which uses ignition-like syntax in order to change. So like if you want to change the SSH key or just add a configuration file, you would use the MCO for that. Yeah, so ignition is essentially like first boot um, in regular yep. Linux OS land. Uh, it only runs once. And so while what, what Christian was saying about ignition syntax, effectively, there's always an ignition file, but we have an operator that runs on, uh, to simplify it, because it's really complicated to explain it in detail. There's an operator that runs on all the nodes that's pulling the rendered ignition file and looking at all of the defined configuration files and if it sees that there's a difference between the rendered ignition that it pulled and the files that are local to this to the host it will rewrite the files that are local to the host to match whatever's rendered out in the ignition file that it pulled so it uses the ignition file it's just not the ignition process on boot yes so after the correct. very first boot yep. with ipixie and ignition it will never do the full ignition setup which like includes partitioning disks and all this other junk um so it's if i remember correctly when you're doing a cloud-based um uh open 4 cluster cloud uh -huh. it, it's always iPixie booting the instances. It just doesn't actually do the full ignition uh, initialization. It just goes, oh, I, I've already done this. And then it, it continues on to the regular boot. I believe that's what happens. I believe. I, I and it believe gets, you. It gets even more complicated when you start talking about machine config pools and machine, but we, we'll, we'll save that for another. Oh, another we should <laughs> probably do that as a stream. stream. Yeah, yeah, about the MC, uh, the MCP, the MCO, and how all mm -hmm. the relationship. That's. Um, I'm going back. Let's do it. Uh, so we won't know. I don't know the answer to this. I have always had different experiences. So does it care the fact that it, it's not named bootstrap? It came up with the name ECR1, C1 small, whatever. That'll that I think will resolve that host name though, I believe. Yeah, so I, I think, so yeah, that's that's my, that's my that was my question. It, it may As long as it resolves, internally. it should be fine. Yeah, as long as it resolves, it should be fine. It doesn't have to be named bootstrap, I guess is, was my question. I've yeah, never done I, it. I've never I've, done it without naming it bootstrap. I think that's how I did it last time, and it worked. But let's I guess we're yeah, gonna find we'll out. Yeah. I don't know what happened to my terminal. Oh, you know what? When I have multiple monitors, this it doesn't like like it. 
Uh, for whatever reason. Okay, so let's go back here. So I just updated all the HA proxy IP addresses in DNS in um, in there. Let's see if I can run this. Wait for Bootstrap to complete, and then also run the journal CTL. Do it. This looks good so far. What's this failed to create manifests mean? What am I doing? Do you know? So it's just I'm, running in a loop, waiting for Ed CD and everything to come up. And I believe uh, so. So I think this is the Bootstrap host. Yeah, that's yeah. the Bootstrap. These what might are, be okay. What are the? But, but I don't. What are the containers that are running on this host? Yeah, don't we have to do like a do CRI CTL dash L or something. Yes. You have to do sudo, but yeah. And I think it's Podman oh. for Bootstrap. It's, oh, and they might have changed it for 4.4, so we'll uh, see. Podman PS, if you're yeah. trying to do that. Sorry. So it's doing something. PS-A, see if etcd tried to start and didn't. Well, did a bunch of stuff. It's just not clear. Yeah, it says Bootstrap dash dash etcd, so... I don't know if you want to take a look at that. So some, logs. it's doing like, something teardown right now is the thing that's running. But that's why I was saying do okay. a CRICTL because you want to see. So Podman starts the static stuff. Um, and then I think the actual cluster is using cryo that runs on the bootstrap. Yeah. Host. So CRICTL. I, I don't the know same Docker the... command. So like PS. Oh, okay, okay. Got it, all right, all right, got it. Oh. So you have some container called manager that's running actively, which is probably a good sign. Actually, you have many containers running. Many so containers, API servers running. Many running. running. So, that, so that's a good, yeah. Okay, so this looks like it's it's doing its thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah, um, so the know. API should be responding because you have a cube API service that's running on this host. Yeah, so yeah. So go, go to, um, go to that, uh, your status page. Yeah, HA proxy. Yeah. Uh, where I bet that? you there's still, um, it's like 9,000, right? Or whatever it yeah. was. So it's all red. So this is what I'm saying. I think you needed the bootstrap in the, um, in that uh, OpenShift API. Well, server. so let's go. So hang, so hang on, right? So go back to the install terminal hmm. where it says waiting for whatever. This? No, no, the install terminal. Oh, gotcha. So it's waiting for the Kubernetes API at api.test, right? Mm -hmm. How is anything ever going to come up there if the bootstrap is the API? Yeah, because it would have to be in the HA proxy config, is what you're saying. I would assume, I would assume at some yeah. point it needs to be. I mean, what do the docs say? You and your docs. <laughs> I mean, we can we can sit around and you know poke each other in the eye uh, until we figure it I'm out, just or we could just look at the docs. It is, yeah, it is. You did say clown, right? We did I, clown. I don't know why you went to look at the docs and then avoided looking at the docs. So I'm gonna look at the docs. Tell me what it says while I add it. Sure. <laughs> installing, <laughs> installing on bare metal. Tell me that it won't help after I do the work. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that I didn't have to do it. Okay, so you're saying you got to add that bootstrap. And the machine configs server do that, as well. But... What's that? And the machine configs server. You're 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 on the right track. Oh, which the machine config the one I'm on? There like the helper node? No, no, no. That's oh. the. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Got got got. Yeah. Okay. Got got got. Um. Yep. Load balancers. Before you install OCP, you must provision two layer four load balancers. Port 6443, Oops. machines, bootstrap, and control plane. You remove the bootstrap from the load balancer after the machine initializes the cluster. 22623, so the... bootstrap and control plane. You remove the bootstrap machine after the bootstrap machine. So 443 and 80 are the only two that don't need the um, bootstrap because they also don't need the master. What's 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 funny is that you have your HA proxy set up with um see the turn green. Hey, that's now. a good sign, right? Um yep, it turned green. 
but like you 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 added the uh, the workers to the HA proxy even though you're not sending the the uh, the DNS to the HA proxy you're sending him directly to the workers. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I guess I should change my DNS to point at the HA proxy, huh? It'll it'll work either way, but yeah. So it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, ideally, you would right. have a, a waiting for balancer. Bootstrap to complete. So now we have forty minutes to wait, right? Well, you can you can tell the log. We can tell the log. What's the what's the log say here um, on the uh, on the Bootstrap right? Because it's always yeah. Let me get there. So we can we can explain what's happening here. Um, is that tailing it right there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's happening here is the the Bootstrap sets up a temporary API server, right? And then um, it'll spin up an instance of etcd, right? So it's basically we're using Kubernetes to install Kubernetes. Um, the bootstrap then will scale etcd, the scale the etcd um, uh, service, right, into the masters, and then it will scale off etcd. So then the masters now all of a sudden have etcd running on it. Um, and then at some point, while all the configuration is set, um, uh, when the bootstrap is finished setting up the masters, it'll transfer over the API to the, uh, um, to the master control plane. Nice. So let me uh, go go check out what's happening on the master maybe at the same time. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get see. Wild. We'll do it live. Let's get, let's get kooky. Get wild. Let's get wild. Let's get kooky here. Um, not nothing is happening on the master. Yeah, the master is probably waiting for, what does the out of band say for the master? That's a good question. Uh, out of band. Oh, sorry. It says nothing. It says nothing. Maybe it's still rebooting. That's a long reboot. Uh, it makes me want to check my... Um... Whoops. Master. Makes me want to check the master.boot and make sure I didn't finger master.ign, which is there, and uh, oops. It's a long time I've been typing. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, good. So the ignition file's there, right? Looks like it. Uh, yeah. So, huh. All right. So, what is the what's the challenge here? What's the challenge? What if we check out the other master to see what happened there? We've yeah, got so many. We... We've got so many masters to choose from, or just wait till the bootstrap's done. Connection. Yeah. So it's probably rebooting at this point because the masters have to check into the machine config um, service. Yeah. Do they time out? Uh. I don't know how long. If it does, it's a long time because um, I remember doing it like within like thirty minutes or, or an hour. It'll it'll okay. It'll pick it'll pick up. Hmm. Okay. Well, are the are all of the masters doing the same thing? I just checked two. Let me check the third. I I didn't see what's going on. So are they all doing the same thing? Uh, the first two are. I'm checking the the last one. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. No. This is this is correct. So yeah. So if my understanding is that um. So the masters will I pixie boot, they grab ignition. But then ignition tells them to like get stuff from the bootstrap host, doesn't it? Yeah, from the machine config op, um, machine config. Service. Well, from whatever, right? So, so I think. Oh, I see what just, you're thinking. Yeah, yeah. I think the masters are actually paused, waiting for the bootstrap host to be ready to get to more serve, things to yeah. do. Yeah. 
So the question is what what's going on on the bootstrap host it's, other than that it's, other than that is basically. So what does the install say? It's running. What does the install and, the install terminal say? Oh. You're not actually yeah, running the here. install. So at this point Oh no, this is just to watch this is just to watch the install, right? Oh, is it? So it's waiting for boot yeah, so it says it's waiting for the bootstrap to complete. Yeah, waiting for bootstrap to complete. This this seems to it seems like normal messaging. But where can we get more information about what's going on? If you do, just do, do a do journal a journal... CTLs F. Not don't look at a specific yeah. service. Yeah, yeah, like the whole journal. Give me, give me everything. Actually, I wish we could like exclude bootcube.sh. What was that? That was interesting. Status for pod bootstrap cluster updated to running. So I think things are starting. Yeah, it's just taking yeah, a while. Yeah, I think it's just taking, yeah. What, what kind um, of disks are these? What size is the bootstrap server? It's uh, yeah. Do you like a free dash M or it's whatever? a C one small. Uh, but C1 even small. their C one small specs are pretty decent, aren't they? They it is. Uh, C one small. Oh, I they don't have them. They don't have them in Dallas. In Dallas. Mm -hmm. Sorry, buffering. That's oh, okay. Oh, he's frozen. We're back. Uh, We're, yeah, We're but back. it's only one. It's one CPU with an unknown yeah. speed. Sing so I don't know. It, it looks. Node has sufficient memory event message. That's oh. fine. That's normal. Node. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's actually, no, that's it actually, has sufficient. That's actually, I think, is, a good. Yeah. Has yeah. <laughs> error. There's no warning. No, there's was a warning. No error. <laughs> error, error success. <laughs> error success. This. Um, all right. So hold on. Let's. Wait. Did um. Thought I saw an error went by. Oh, sorry. Let me, let me look for how well, to I journal think... CTL without. I mean, you could journal CTL and then pipe it into grep to get rid of boot cube. It, grep dash v. Yeah. Yeah. So the bootstrap host seems to be happy. Because these aren't, I don't, are any of these error messages? I don't see any error messages or nothing that stands out yet. Setting node annotation to the name of the controller. I'd imagine we'd be seeing some errors by now. What does the documentation maybe, say? So I mean, I'm now, I'm now like now kill like... one of the masters and do a new one. I don't know. Maybe they came up well, too I early. Mean, uh, hold on. I I'm, I would say that when I did this before, it did take you know a significant amount of time sometimes for these to come up. Um, let me just try an SSH to this and see if I can then. Whoops. All right, so this is my helper node. So let me go from here to the. So Andrew says on the zero. bootstrap system to look at the. Um, uh, hey, it's up. Oh, the master. Hey, it's up. The master. Woo! Yeah. Master one. Never mind, I Andrew. Think, we're not going to do I'm that. Going. Yeah. Andrew. No, mate. Wait, wait, wait. You're no. wrong, Andrew. <laughs> no, he might be right. Um, You're doing it from the second. wrong host. But the fact that it answered SSH, it means that it's up. That it's up, yeah. I I feel like I'm going crazy right now because I'm uh, you're taking sorry. crazy pills. <laughs> well, you're you're I, doing this from the wrong host, and you're trying nope, to do root. That didn't work. Well, it's so because M, if, M0 because didn't you have to do because you have to do no 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 that's the wrong host, no. and you're trying to do root. Oh, yeah, sorry. so you're not okay. So there you go, core. I'm not and on the wrong host. I'm on the right host. And the hey. and like what Eric says, the fact that SSH is answering is a good sign. Is, is well, what, that's that's is, the is only sign that is important. Yeah. Hey, it's running. 
Right. right. We're just not patient. The problem is patience. Yeah. What it so wanted. Andrew, yes, up <laughs> does not mean join to the cluster, but the fact that it wasn't hey, look at this. up means it wasn't well, working at that all. means join. Andrew, this means it's up in the cluster because it's starting to starting to turn green here. Yeah. Greenness. Uh, you're you're so you're so negative, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I know, I know this guy named Andrew who's 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 always pretty negative that I work with. Well, I don't is know if that's the same guy. It might be the same guy. Andrew. They're a different Andrew. Gotcha. <laughs> um, We're just kidding, Andrew. Okay. Okay, so this thing is rolling, huh? So there you go. Well, so get this rid of the good. um, get rid of the grep V. Yeah, yeah. So oh, now yeah. Eric's following my my train of thought here. There that's you go. Scary. Do just do that. Yeah. <laughs> We need less of that. Okay. Hey, look, no um, errors. Bootcube service exited. No, so, no. so Bootstrap is done. Is it? Yeah, no, it no, said no. Boot, It said that, Bootcube service error. exited. Nope. Scroll up. Break out and scroll up. Break out. I saw it right here. Okay, so exited with failure. Here, so I don't know if that's good though. Yeah. Oh, timed out waiting for condition. So it did. So to answer, I guess to answer the question, it is, it did time out. So the install but, failed. Well, it timed out. I think it's going to start again. It says scheduling restart. Oh, uh, okay. Already exists. Already exists. Okay. So oh, okay. Like so no, Bootcube is doing something again. So this is better. It's just slow. It takes a while. It's doing. It just things. it just takes a while. Yes, it did say failed. Andrew. Uh, so yeah, you can just exit the masters at this point. Yeah. All right. So I, I wish it gave us more while we watch, information. What, while we watch this, um, while we watch this slowly move, I should have used the X1 large in, in hindsight. <laughs> For the bootstrap, you mean? For all of them, because for all of them, because gotcha. fifteen minutes is definitely worth twelve dollars. That's a beer. Yeah. What? It's yeah. only like a dollar something an hour, isn't it? <laughs> okay. It's like a dollar an hour. Yeah, but there's six of them, right? Twelve dollar beer. That's no, cheap. there's three masters and one bootstrap <laughs> host. That's four. So that's four dollars an hour. Those are public sporting event prices. <laughs> All right. The open LA price would be sixteen dollars. Complete command running anywhere. What is the output of that? So what does yeah. the install yes, terminal I'm sorry? tab say? What do you want me to do now? What does the install terminal tab say? It is now safe to remove Bootstrap resources. Interesting. So should I shut it down? Uh, well, if yeah, you want, like you can. It's, but one thing you could do would boot be service complete. One thing you could do Make would sure be to running. log into the cluster. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, well, no, wait. You have the, to, uh, yeah, no, you do need to remove the bootstrap. Before you log in? Well, because the, the bootstrap process is complete, but the installation process is not, right? Isn't there something that you have to run mm -hmm. in the installer after bootstrap? Yes. So, yeah, so here. Um, oh, yeah. So what do you got so generating SSH yeah. key, installation program creating the config file yes so if you go um into the install directory three node cluster creating the yeah there's an auth yeah there's an auth file right. in there correct uh, yeah right but isn't there something we have to do after the wait so, for bootstrap complete yes yeah so it's you um, must remove the bootstrap the machine from the, the load balancer must so there's not you it's must request the bootstrap. What machine. happens if we don't? <laughs> you well, your bootstrap is still in the load balancer pool, but it's not part of the cluster. So you may you have a one in four chance of garbage failing. Uh, so I could just take it out of the load balancer, right? Correct. Yes, that's the um, that's one. Option. And that's probably where that's... you got that's where you got the copy pasta from. You probably got your end your end result. Yeah, um, uh, that's a good point. You can just proxy. comment it out. And then you wouldn't have copy pasta failed. <laughs> I'm assuming future, you can put yeah, comments in HA proxy config files. Yeah, future James will 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 thank you. Not when I not when I shut these all down in ten. Yeah, minutes. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So then now go go to the um, the HA proxy setting. Uh -oh.
I, I just take I just commented it out and restart HA proxy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, you so yeah, you did that. And I was gonna say if you want to look at the, the the status page just to make sure it's out. Did he freeze? Uh, oh, okay. Like, what was it me? To move out of my way. Um, master, master, master. Okay, my workers still aren't there though. I gotta add the workers. No. No, 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 no. 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 Well, the workers should be coming up soon. It should come up soon with a with a with a router. So now go back to um, the installer node. The installer node. The helper, helper and then, node. And then do an export of cube config. Export. Uh, capital Q equals, equals and then yeah, uh, whatever the path I? to it. Is it PWD, I do PWD, PWD slash uh, that'll work. Twitch. So when we booted the workers, oh, config. we pointed them at the iPixie server. And the iPixie server Correct. has an ignition file, but does that ignition file have the cluster information in it? Yeah, it should have. Yeah, it does. Okay, just making sure. Uh, sorry, I can't multitask apparently. For cube config equals. Uh, base. So then now, if you yeah hit yeah cube config, if you do oc get nodes. Oh, I don't have the. Oh. Um... <laughs> Where's the? Hot... Can I just do a yum install oc? No. What is that? Oc client? No. No. You don't have it's a binary. You can you you can um, use the or cube admin username and password from anywhere because this cluster is publicly accessible. Yeah, let me just do this. Let's see if it's up. Uh, You're really worried about somebody getting the username and the password. <laughs> yeah, if their photo, if their memory is well, the look, I don't want to be responsible. For... <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for anybody's. Um... Anybody's Bitcoin, Bitcoin mining, mining operation. Uh, uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, so it, it would be it's console. Console dash. Uh, oh, here I have dash right here. Console. You can there just is. get the routes. Yeah, I know, but I don't have the OC client. Yeah, you the, can the you, routes, but do, the, do you so, have the OC client on your laptop? Yeah. So then use. Oh, it I can on log in with the uh, with the with the username so and right password. Now, yeah. So right now the the router isn't up because so you have to approve the CSRs for 4.4 now. Oh, Careful. I have never um, right, but the router is not the, the router is not serving the API. Correct. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right about that. Yeah. OC login. So OC login. Whatever so, the API URL is, um, which is on the install yeah. page. Yeah. What is the API URL? Look at your first tab in your terminal. Uh, first time in my terminal. Scroll up. You, yeah, scroll up. You have a. Uh, oh, you cleared it. Yeah. Oh, you cleared the hell out of it. Is, he cle he yeah he cleared his buffer. Do the um. Uh, it's the OpenShift install it's, it's command, in right? Yeah, wait your, for boots. It's in your DNS. Yeah, it's I know, but yeah, I I I actually let me see. I I can actually yeah. See, so there we go. HTTPS That's... and six four four three. Yeah. Uh, hold Wrong on. Terminal. Uh, let me get. I am so flustered. This is really challenging. Uh, sorry. HTTPS. Yeah. Sweet. Cube admin. What? Is it APN? No, no, no. Is that's, it supposed that's to be that's API in? I, uh, oh, it's not the int one. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Unexpected response. Yeah, you, you're you're gonna have to do this with the the certificate because the API service isn't up either. So the problem is that the API services the the cluster operators are, oh, are trying to waiting. fire up. Yeah, are, are trying so, to fire up and and. So this is new in four dot four. Yeah. No. Um, no, it it's always been this way, but I haven't. Okay. But machine config so where approval is... should happen automatically. So the, I just haven't been you able. You could to also do just it. copy pasta the cube config file to your laptop um, or download the binary to the uh yeah why don't i just install the oc client tools on my helper node you can um, do it whatever you all right where do i get those try.openship.com screen that you were on yeah. two seconds ago 
this is how I get to it. The install page uh, that you were looking account. at, they, they were there. Oh, they were there. Yeah. Oh, you were on this. Yeah, there we go. Download, Download clients tools. or whatever it is. Oh, it's a there mirror. It so can I just copy the link and yep. and do wget? Or curl that uh, show? Maybe. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There you go. Are they really that small? Uh, it wasn't small. It's 252 megabytes. There it is. Now you got OC. Sorry, so 25 you... megabytes. So now OC get uh, nodes, I guess, first. Yeah. So now you see this is masters, but there's no yep. workers. That's why the API hasn't scheduled yet. So now I do an OC get CSR. I just want to see. I just want to follow the documentation to make. Oh, he's, there we go. He's, finally, he's giving you the we finally got him. That's right. Yeah. So OC get CSR dot slash OC is there. And you'll see there's a lot, there's a pending one for the nodes, right? So you need yeah. to approve those. Um, there's a quick one liner, uh, a little bit. You can do that. You can do them that, or you can do the, the one liner. Yeah. Method. Whoa. Yeah. I, ideally, yeah. Ideally, you wouldn't want to do the, um, the one liner. Because your Xargs doesn't have um, a dot slash. The OC, yeah. Yeah, so, so the way that this works for the people who are still paying attention to this most boring of awfulness. Um, so there is a series of... Thanks, um, Eric. Yeah, so basically you don't just want to allow nodes to join the cluster. I mean, in, in certain cases yeah. you do if you really, really know what they are. But the way that this works is essentially the worker comes up via the bootstrap and ignition and process. Join, yeah. And it basically waves its hand and it says, hey, I'm a node over here. I would like to participate in this cluster. And so that involves a certificate process. And then we're essentially doing client certificate authentication between the nodes and the masters via APIs. And so what we just did was we said, OK, we're going to approve the certificate requests to actually finish creation of Boom. the certificate, which then allows the nodes to be authenticated. So now the API communication can finish, which means the node can finish joining the cluster. So at this point, OC get nodes should have shown that we have, um, if we do an OC oh. get nodes. Yeah, look, it's actually up We though. see that we have two yeah, so, running workers. Yeah. And so at this point, so, there are operators in the cluster that are pre-configured for all of the ancillary OC services. CO? Yeah. Oh, is that cluster operators? Cluster operators, yeah. Oh, look at that. I learned so this something. Will, yeah, so this will show you that. Um, so ingress, it says ingress is, is running. Yeah. Ingress is the um, operator that controls the HAProxy router. Thank you for the follow, Charlie and Steadfast. Um, and yeah. so um, when the workers come up, the pods that the operators were trying to schedule can finally be scheduled. So if we do a OC describe on one of the worker nodes. Oops. Dude, just put it in your path. Yeah, I, was saying, yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking that. This cluster is only living for like, uh, uh, oh, wait. OC, OC describe. describe. Yeah, nodes. there's no sense. The commands don't have shortcuts. Yeah, that's, oh, OC. Sorry. Do I have to do nodes? Yes. Or what? Node, node. singular. Or n node. There you go. So now what we see is there's a bunch of pods that have been scheduled and oh look, the router is scheduled. So at this point, we should be able to visit mm -hmm. the OpenShift console if you do an OC get route capital dash capital A. I think I have it right here. Oh, I think you got it right. There it is. Um, all right, two hours and 30 minutes. We did it. There we go. Not days, well, but wait, hours. It hasn't, it hasn't loaded in well, it's like oh, we lost James again. Oh, we lost the James. Sounds like adding a server to a Puppet Master. Yes, it's very right. similar to the way that Puppet does their kind of authentication approval stuff. So now, and yes, so James, August, now this that is for it's the sake of learning. Sorry, go ahead, Christian. No, no, I'll say now that this is um, now that this is run, like now that the cluster operators are running, now you can do what Eric was alluding to earlier was the wait for install complete. Um, 
command? Is that required? Mm. Is it required? No, not necessarily. Does no. It, what does it actually do? I don't think it does anything. It waits for the install to complete. <laughs> the command oh, actually, actually so like the boot. The, the docs don't even say to do it. It doesn't necessarily need to be run, to be yeah, honest with you. I think we're good. All right. So clusters up. This is pretty crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's not so, that crazy. Now we can. Uh, I mean, calm down. I mean, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty crazy to me. The HA. Um, so one thing the to HA note proxy here. Tests should be all green now. Yeah. Go ahead, Eric. So I'm looking at the inst instructions, and um, one of the things of note is image registry removed during installation. And what it's talking about is that because we don't mm -hmm. have object storage available by default, the operator kind of gets angry and basically turns off the built-in image registry. Yeah. And so we would have to configure storage for the registry, um, which preferably is not NFS, but NFS does work. Yeah. It's not recommended. Uh, it's definitely not ideal, but it can be used. And so was that, James, why you had set up the uh, export? Yeah, that's why, I, that's why I initially set that up was I basically just built a small um, uh, a small bit of storage for, to back my registry. And then um, actually for, sorry, for pers I did it for persistent volumes because I was doing this to deploy VMs via CNV. Ooh, um, fancy. So basically via OpenShift Vert. So yeah, um, yeah in fact, that's maybe what well, maybe what I'll do is since these are all running on small instances, maybe I'll leave this cluster up and running for a day or two and see if I can get OpenShift Vert working and, and import a VM or something along those lines. So this it's is your, so this is interesting. Account. Someone in chat, yeah, exactly. Well, it's, it's yeah, it's your call center. Someone in chat asked, uh, "What about adding another worker now?" Do it. What does that entail? Do it. What, what does do that it. entail? Create a new worker and point yeah, it at the worker ignition file, and it comes up, and then I approve the CSR, right? Yep. Should there be. we go. Is that it? Yeah. It should be that easy. Should yeah. we make, do it? Make a really big should one. Should we try it? What's the, what's the biggest server they can give us? What? Yeah, what's the most expensive one you can do? Let's do that. <laughs> Ooh, $1.70. That's going to kill us. Oof, I don't know, man. It's all right. I'm changing cost center soon, so I got to be careful. I don't want to. So Crouton, John, how do you balance where your control plane endpoint is? So at the very beginning, one of the things we had done was create um, an HA proxy load balancer running on Red Hat Enterprise Linux as a helper node to, to provide a bunch of the installation stuff. And so that HA proxy is acting as a, a, a load balancer in front of the three masters. And so all of the API traffic goes through that HA proxy load balancer and then gets assigned to one of the uh, one of the control planes. Vanilla cube that I run, I use keep alive D to have a VIP. We we don't need keep alive D because we have more than one control plane. Um, so we 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 rely on HA proxy detecting endpoint health um, mm -hmm. in order to handle traffic basically. Hopefully that makes some sense. Uh, living dangerously. By the way, Crouton User John, I, li I like your <laughs> Well, why, why is that living dangerously? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I, I always put stuff in user local bin. I always leave for bin and S bin mm, for like real system package stuff. install things. Yeah. While we're waiting. What are you doing? Oh, corn. Oh, no. God. <laughs> Oh, no, you're using, you actually use corn. Let's try and go um, now. <laughs> that was back, back in so my, my son. Is the, days. Yeah, is so Solaris, yeah. Happening yet? What's going on? Oh, uh, it's OC. Well, it's, it's probably just booting, to be honest with you. Let's look. Um, oh, I got to add it into DNS, an HA proxy. What? No, it's a worker. So this would be. It's not going to receive a router needs to go into by the... default. Yeah, but don't I need to put it into DNS over here? Um, you need to put into DNS, but not into not into the router because yeah. the router doesn't auto scale with you adding workers. So what what you've just done now? Well, like it's good practice here. This is this is kind of like a six of one, half a dozen of the other, right? So ideally, what you would do 
is create nodes dedicated for, at least for routers, use taints and tolerations to ensure that the routers only land on those nodes, and then put those nodes in the load balancer pool for the wildcard. What we're do what what James is doing is putting going you would see here. Oh, it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll, it'll never saying. it'll never turn it'll never turn green. Yeah, all right. It. So blew up, blew up again. Never so so I don't know where we dropped out, but the the quick recap is um, if you put the all the nodes into the load balancer pool for the wild card. Um, HA proxy will eventually figure out which ones have which nodes have routers and which ones don't, and stop sending traffic to the ones that don't. And if the routers get flipped around, it will uh, um, eventually figure it out and fix itself. So it's you know best practice is to create nodes just for certain things. Um, but this works in a pinch. I'm not sure why W2 was pending. Thanks for W2 the follow. Has been up, but I. Visigatinui. Viz. Visigatinui? I guess. Yeah. So basically, waiting for this uh, this guy to come up and then we'll be done, right? Yeah, Just, approve, the, uh, approve the CSRs and. Wait a second. My worker never came up W3, did he? W3 did not, uh, I don't know, reload the page, maybe? Oh, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Did we get one of those uh, too many? Did we get whatever's... an error that we ignored? <laughs> Thanks for the follow, hard work. Well, no, that's that's the strange thing is I actually have it here. Uh, you added an got, IP for an it. Address call. Yeah, and now it's gone. Uh-oh. Maybe I, maybe I um, violated the terms of service. Uh, oh, TOCs. <laughs> anyway, it would have worked. Um, <laughs> Trust is so, it would have worked. Trust us. <laughs> so, so uh, what's what's the uh, what's the takeaways here? Um, make sure your iPixie config files work, and ha and the the contents of your iPixie files actually exist. Uh, that's important. What other <laughs> mistakes did we make? Well, it, it it's 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 all about preparation, right? So, like, ideally, you would know all of this beforehand, like what IP addresses you're gonna have. What their yeah. host names are, the the the, the Pixie configurations, all of that you would have, um, you know the, the 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 load balancer configurations you would know. Well, you're going to know your final IP addresses, right? Because in 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 theory, yes. if you're uh, doing iPixie, you have to have DHCP. Yeah. Now we could. But if have you done want to run some bare metal and it, tool around with it, this is a great. This is kind of a cool setup if you just want to get some bare metal and be able to spin it up. It, especially if you're using like the Terraform and Ansible automation that exists. I mean. You could basically get a bare metal cluster for less than a hundred bucks a day with some pretty decent hardware behind yeah. it, you know. Yeah, and so um, so not you want to this spin isn't it up and then bring it down. Uh, this isn't knocking packet, but in a in a environment where you can load ISOs, um, you don't need to do the Pixie bootstrap. You can actually load a, a boot ISO into the server, boot from the ISO, and then type in where yeah. the ignition stuff is um to do your processing and 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 provisioning of hosts um it's just yep. that because we're doing this in packet uh we have the ability to do the ipexy so you know that makes life easier not, not only that but like if if there I, from Thanks what i understand saying. packet has an on has an on premises uh bare metal management system um that they sell so if somebody has that this is gives you a good idea of how you could start to integrate those two obviously oh, it's not yeah. foolproof on on our side but it certainly isn't cool. foolproof because these fools totally screwed it up so. <laughs> yeah. all righty right. well that's like almost cool. three hours worth of stuff but you know we did it right like that's we started nice. from nothing and a little bit of preparation and we spent a, a large quantity of time chasing our own tails so probably about 40 minutes of of tail chasing and uh, and we got a cluster yeah. up and running, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, thanks uh, thanks a lot for uh, indulging me and letting me uh, come on here and do this, and uh, not making fun of my VI skills too badly. Although I think there's a side chat somewhere going on about it. I'm pretty sure.
Well, I'm, I'm chatting here on uh, on yeah. Twitch. So Got some, some random Q&A. Uh, so James, I mean, feel free, to, feel free to bounce. We're going to, Christian and I can hang out and answer some random Q&A for the next 15 minutes. Sounds good. I'm going to head out. Thanks. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the, thanks thanks. For thanks. the thanks. content, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Cheers. Fair enough. Anybody else got any last minute questions? Although I'm asking this question and it probably takes like four minutes for yeah, for we it have to come to up in the, the chat. The, the, the 30 seconds or whatever, right? Thank you. I'm for actually the follow, looking at Shang the stream Wong. now. So you're going to so what? James is still on. In the stream. Oh, okay. I'm looking at the stream right now. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> and James is still on. Um, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll hang out in the chat, I guess, for a minute or two. Um, actually, I think I probably need to bounce. But uh, anyway, Christian, thanks so much for uh, harassing James. Yeah, uh, today. yeah that was that fun. Was, that was fun for sure. Um, and yeah, so you know, we've got a lot of stuff planned for the stream. Uh, for the stream, so you know, keep an eye on the OpenShift Twitter. Keep an eye on our Twitters. Um, do we have this stuff on the OpenShift website yet? Like the schedule, the OpenShift website. No, I knew I knew it hit the I knew it hit the blog. Yeah, we're working on it. Yeah. Yeah. So so you'll definitely just have to kind of pay attention to the Twitters, or if you're following us, you could hit the follow button. Uh, Twitch is very kind; it will it will send you a notification either via email or other mechanisms uh, when we are live. So we'd appreciate the follows, um, and tell your friends and coworkers and. I don't know, maybe your yeah. spouses or kids or whatever, if they're into technology. Yeah, everyone, to get everyone on, on the on the stream. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly going to be OpenShift, but who knows? So someone else may be entertained by us yeah. monkeying around. All right, man. Well, have a great weekend. Thanks for your time. Uh, we'll talk All to right. you soon. You too. Cheers. Yeah. Bye. All right. Bye, everyone. Cheers.